four, three, two. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the H3 Podcast Live, everybody's favorite version of the podcast, because Ela's here. <laughs> Thank you. I realized that we both look like Fifth Element characters now. Yeah, I think oh, that's yeah. awesome. And I look like this one guy with this hair. What was his name? He was like the super feminine muscle dude with poofy hair that looked just like mine, and he was like so dumb. <laughs> he asked him to throw him a ball, a bomb, and he threw, rolled him like the cube. You're talking about Ruby, oh. Ruby Rod? No, not Ruby Rod. Rod. Not Ruby Rod. Oh. Um, blonde. Blonde, good hair, luck, Ethan. Muscle idiot from Fifth <laughs> Element. Here. Thank you, Kimstar. Appreciate that. Um, oh my God, can somebody can somebody do this for me? Thank you. Anyway, you, those who know know. Wake up. You know you know. If you know you know. Today, of course. Oh, you found it already, Amy. Oh yeah, this is him. Thank you. This is me. Look. <laughs> this is important. I know. But this is me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> my I hair mean... is literally exactly like his. Like, kind of cool. Like short on the side, <laughs> goofy on the top. Yeah. That's the vibe. Oh, that's hot. Dude, everybody loves this guy. It, you're making it cool. Thank you. And I see that Zach is. Uh, yeah, you didn't in know. In solidarity. Yeah, Zach's in solidarity. Yeah. I'm trying Over to get one simp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you earned that today. Dude. That was pretty good. So, and at any rate, um, today we we come here. To talk about something serious. Oh, today's uh, today's episode is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Thank you, Mint Mobile. <laughs> Today we here to talk about something serious. You know, we're talking about David Dobrik a lot. Well, yes. <laughs> oh well, if you guys missed the memo, um, we've been talking about David Dobrik a lot, and they responded actually, specifically one of the Vlog Squad members, Scotty Sire, which. With peace and love, I don't know anything about him, but that sounds like the name of a poodle. Scotty Sire. Scotty. Okay. Scotty Sire. You know, Shredder's name was originally yeah, Scotty. Right. When we picked him up, his name yeah. was Scotty. I'm like, nah, he ain't no Scotty. Yeah. Scotty. <laughs> but yeah, he reminds me. Yeah. So Scotty, I guess, and Scotty, incidentally, is like... Um, Scotty doesn't know. What? Say what? Scotty doesn't know. Is that a song or something? Yeah. No. Oh. Thank you, Dan. For Thank that. you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that input. Well, he doesn't know, actually, because right. he made this video, ooh, which, in my opinion, like, I was like, okay, either they're not going to respond or he's just going to apologize to Seth, you know, which is the mature, good thing to do, make a statement being like, you know what, I was wrong. We yeah. used to do a lot of stuff back in the day that wasn't okay, and now I've grown up and mature. Well, actually, they put out a video basically attacking and threatening Seth. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Scotty, who's like the most, I guess, from what I understand, because I'm not super familiar with the Vlog Squad dynamic, but everybody seems to like this guy, Scotty, and he has a really good reputation among them. And so it seems to me that David used this guy for, and his good reputation to put out this video to try to get the best response. And the reason I say that is because Scotty includes in his video a clip of David. David sent him a clip of text messages of him with Seth, and David is narrating it. So clearly, you know, David knows he, Scotty's making this video and is supplementing him with information. So this isn't just Scotty's opinion. This is definitely David's opinion as well, mm -hmm. which to me speaks volumes because this was like the worst possible uh, response because um, it's like classic victim shaming, victim blaming, victim dismissing, and now... Seth is actually getting just a ton more shit and hate. And, uh, you know, I, I, I messaged Seth to say, hey, do you want to come in today to talk about it? And at first he was like, yeah, I'll come in. And then, you know, um, after a few hours, he said, actually, you know what? I don't want to go and talk about this, like, on the record anymore. It's getting like, and I, I'm assuming just because it's just getting too crazy for him, especially because there was insinuations in the video that David could be seeking uh, a legal Suing remedy. Him. Yeah, against yeah. me and. Right, I still. <laughs> um, and Seth. 
Yeah. I mean, the thought doesn't frighten me at all, but it but it would to Seth. I mean, I, I mean, it know. still scares me. It's not anyone. In, oh, I it's I mean, up for a lawsuit. It's it's not something anyone wants to go through. It doesn't matter. Like you know, it's just such a ugly process, <clears throat> expensive, disgusting. <clears throat> Well, I've already been through one defamation lawsuit, so yeah. trust me. I mean, I've already defeated I'm, one defamation lawsuit. So, bro, you ain't fuck, you ain't winning any. I'm not. Me. I'm not as scared as I used to be because we yeah. know so much more now. Yeah, but but even defending yourself legally is super it's expensive. Awful. So even if Seth like hypothetically has like a ironclad case, it's still life ruining to get yeah, sued. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah. So they scared him, and they and what they're doing is scaring other people. You know, I talk to other people who have crazy things to say, but they're scared to come forward, and and um, stuff like this obviously discourages that further. That is exactly why I always laugh when people try to say like about certain victims when it, when it's like one person against a famous person. They they always say, "Oh, it's just clout chasing." It's like. You don't know how much shit they're going to get just for coming out against someone who already has a fan base. Yeah. The fans don't want to hear that. They think they know this person and this person exactly. is the best. Which you'll see in Scott Scotty's video. So, like, this whole immediate accusation that you always see of, like, oh, they're just doing it for the fame. They're just clout chasing. It's like, no, this is the worst way to get any clout. It just drives you away from social media. It drives you away, away from everything because all you're getting is just more trauma basically For sure. that's what that's what seth, uh, seth said originally is that like he wants to forget all this he doesn't want to relive these moments you know what i mean constantly also something interesting to say about scott as we watch his video is that he is an investor in dispo which means he has a vested interest zoom out on the picture because i think it he ha this is yeah, yeah. He has a vested interest in maintaining David's good image, obviously. Now, I'm not saying that had anything to do with his responsibility, but it's I'm, like I'm con saying... It's like conscious or unconscious, you do have a vested interest. Yeah, in I mean, it, it's, it's a conflict of interest, right? A, uh, you know, yeah. it's like you can't just come out and defend... You know, it says investor. David just posted this. When he posted this, maybe like a few days ago on Instagram? It was from last week, I believe. Last week. Yeah. So Scotty and Jason and a lot of those guys are investors in Dispo. So they all have a vested interest in protecting the brand and the image and everything, you know. So a conflict of interest for sure. Worth definitely worth bringing up, I think. Um so I wasn't really sure how to respond to this video exactly. I'm just going to play it and pause it and respond as I... I have so many thoughts about this video. There's so much I want to say about it. Um, and I'm not really sure the best way. So I'm just going to play it and comment as, uh, as we go. Seth gave me a comment to read. I'm going to read it after we respond to all this just because... Um, just because you'll have the full context if you haven't yet seen his video because it alludes to certain parts of his video and stuff. So let's just go ahead and watch. Uh, b basically, David Dobrik respond via proxy Scotty. I mean, pretty much, right? I mean, I was I thinking to myself, how funny would it be if whenever you got in shit, you sent me right. by, by myself that's to a, apologize for you? <laughs> dude, that's exactly what it is. I mean, that's exactly what happened because people like you more than me. So let's say I do something messed up and I go, Ela, can you go out there and explain things? And then people are more receptive because they like Ela. That's what Scotty's doing. You know, this just goes to show how... Uh, that just goes to show how um, disposable ain't just the name of David's app. It's how he thinks about his friends. He's like, send Scotty out to the wolves. <laughs> and also, there's yeah. a lot of cult-like vibes that you'll pick up in mm -hmm. this video, too, which is what Big Nick was saying is that it's kind of culty, and you'll see that here. Because Scotty's one of the beautiful people, right? He's one of the good, one of the... He is, he is, right? You know what I mean? Like, he's one of the uh, insiders. He's one of the cool kids. Okay, here we go. What's up, guys? I am totally sick of seeing my friends' names get dragged through the mud because of false allegations and lies and just things that aren't true. So I'm going to address some of those allegations and defend my friends. They haven't said anything because 
typically the vlog squad does not address rumors and lies and gossip because it platforms the person telling the lies, draws attention to it, and we know who we are. We know our character. We know we're good people, and we know it's not true. But I thought already, that, yeah. I mean, I thought this was really interesting. Already he, setting the tone, right? I mean, he kind of gave something away when he says that we don't platform lies. Mm -hmm. We don't respond because it platforms them and it gives them attention. Yeah. What if they're not lying though? Right. Right. But he. But what he's actually giving away is that they do have this, that this spoken happens, rule. <laughs> this happens kind of frequently is yeah. what I'm getting. <laughs> right. And they have this spoken rule to just ignore. Ignore. Don't give attention. Mm -hmm. And it's all, I mean, look, all of it's untrue apparently according to Scotty. By the way, in the very beginning he says, he says of Seth again, and this is why people are going and shitting on Seth. What's up, guys? I am totally sick of seeing my friends' names get dragged through the mud because of false allegations and lies and just things that aren't true. So I'm going to. So he's he continue. He always he keeps referring to these allegations by Seth as false and lies. Yet you'll notice throughout the video, he does literally nothing to dispute what Seth said. Um, I don't know how he missed the point so badly, man. Eyes, draws attention to it and we know who we are we know our character we know we're good people and we know it's not true what do you mean but we this it doesn't involve you that's the other yeah. thing we're good people what? we know who you are I'm, nobody's accusing you of anything like i feel like maybe this comes from a good place of you thinking you're defending your friends but it's just not right this isn't your place to even say something no it's one a, is talking about you yeah but now you're coming in and throwing more shit at the person who's got the false allegation apparently based on why is it false like you have it's not including you well, the guys that are involved in it should come and say something yeah the fact that he's even responding to this it, it, but this goes back to the cult like thing it's like yeah we we we, we. it's like no 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 no. <laughs> david is the one that's and profiting. jason david is the one that's moving up david is the one that's fucking uh blowing up as your channel i mean i was kind of whatever i'm not gonna say yeah. it, but but it's not we, we, we. It's David, David, David. And he's using you yet again, bro. And this has nothing to do with you. And somehow you're putting yourself in in front and to shield David from, like, this these this onslaught of bullets. And, like, you didn't have to do that, dude. Because yeah. now you're in the fucking mud with him. You didn't help him at all. You're just in the mud now with him. You it's, know what I mean? It's just even more revealing of their whole culture. We, we, we. We're good people. We're good people. So there's no way... By the way, according to Trisha, she, that Scotty wasn't even involved in any of this stuff. He wasn't there during the pranks. He wasn't there during the Seth stuff. He barely knew Seth. So, like, you don't know, dude. It's like, doesn't involve you. To a point where it's such a serious accusation that it needs to be addressed. Everybody makes mistakes. I am not an angel. I've definitely made mistakes myself. I love that and he said that it's such a serious allegation. It should be addressed. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what everyone is asking for. <laughs> that it should be addressed by the people. Not by you, fuck. Not you. <laughs> but that is all people are asking for. Right. Just address stuff, David and Jason right. and whoever is involved directly in a situation. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of un unconscious irony of this whole <laughs> yeah. video, you'll notice make mistakes is to learn and grow from those mistakes. That being said, telling a lie is a mistake itself. And there's been a lot of that going around. First of all, David's a great person. Jason's a great person. In fact, they're both fantastic people. David doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's so nice. When someone does something that really upsets him, he gets disappointed instead of angry. He'll be like, why'd you do that? Like, that's not cool, dude. Okay, like, this part was so, just so weird to me. So weird. He starts by saying, these guys can't have done this because they're great guys. They're really nice to me. Yeah. Also, he goes, he goes, uh, Shredder just got a scent of uh, Scott's bullshit. <laughs> he goes, uh, David doesn't get mad at people. He just, he just gets, gets disappointed. disappointed. It's like, I'm sorry, what is he, your fucking grandmother? <laughs> that, and I also, thought that was how a little much friction? Weird. Like, how many, what, what is there to be mad about so much? He doesn't get mad at people. Oh, I'm just. It's kind of funny that they have so many unspoken protocols. Right. He just, he's <laughs> such a great guy. He only gets disappointed at people, never mad. Like Again, very the, culty. The thing is that he may be nice to you, and that doesn't mean anything about how he, what he does with other people. Of course. Especially because Which Scott, is again, he's one of the beautiful people. That's, again, why you shouldn't really be involved in this conversation. But what, what does that say about their, the power dynamic where David being disappointed means anything? Yeah. It's like, 
I'm dis- like, who fucking cares? You know what I mean? Be mad. Be mad. What does it mean, be disappointed? He's not your parent. It's just odd. No. It's just, I find that statement very odd and telling, like, from a psychological standpoint. Oh, I wonder if David's going to be showing some disappointment to Scotty for this one. Not anger, though. Just <laughs> disappointment. Jason also is, like, the sweetest, most caring there for you Anytime you need okay, him, cool. person. Glad he was you. Nice to you. So have you heard Trisha? Have you heard like she gla- ended up in a mental hospital? Yeah. I'm glad they were nice to you, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> were you in a relationship with him? <sighs> it's crazy how I can miss the point. Once again, I truly think that in the age of Me Too and everybody's so woke about issues like this, the very fact that it's a male victim just makes everybody forget about everything they ever learned in the past 10 years about it. Mm -hmm. Because this is just classic victim dismissal. And, you know, this kissing prank, I guarantee you, if it was instead of Seth happened to like Natalie, which is like this girl that everybody loves, it was uh, uh, where Jason was putting his tongue down her throat and touching her thigh and her back, that this guy would be fucking... This guy would be outraged. Mm. Jason would be a decent go to jail. You know what I mean? Like, it so obviously would be pure outrage if the if the genders were reversed. I would like to think that, but I honestly don't I even think, know. I think it would be. People get away with a lot of shit. Because mm. it... Okay, I'm not going to make assumptions. About to see them being attacked like this is just like... It's ridiculous. If you watch David's vlogs, you've seen people come and go from them from time to time. And it's always that person grew apart, their career path changed, they didn't wanna be in the videos anymore. And, and sometimes it's because they did something that wasn't cool. And it's like, all right, we're gonna distance ourselves from you now. And that's it. I think that right now the how internet- many, How many people are you guys inviting to your circle that are being need to be cut out? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes people join the vlog and either their careers go fucking uh, sideways or we have to cut ties with them. Okay. Sounds healthy. That is fueled by a lot of unsubstantiated gossip and lies, and that sucks. You gotta be careful with what you're putting out on the internet and the claims that you're making without verifying them. If you're telling a lie and it snowballs, it becomes something that you cannot take back, you can't retract it. And then you just end up damaging people's lives for no reason and probably damaging your own life as well. So I would just like to say, don't call it sharing your truth if you're sharing a lie. Bro, that is like the most ironic statement ever. Mm, Yeah. Don't call it, it's not your truth to speak on. (laughs) This has nothing to do with you. And he continues to call it a lie. And you'll see th- as we go through that there's no fucking evidence that he shows that Seth lied about anything. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Seth lied about nothing. Um, he says, what, what do you say? He, he directly uh, addresses me towards the back, but I'm going to go back. Right. He's well, gonna, here he says that just don't spread a, a lie that will snowball and ruin people's life. Right. That I think is directed to you. Based on the ending. Damaging people's lives for no reason and probably damaging your own life as well. So again, well, I'll I'll respond to him, I guess, when he mentions me at the end. But it's like, this is Seth telling his story directly. He says, do your research. I don't know what more research I can do other than having the account of the person it happened to. You know what I mean? I mean, (laughs) that's, that's a firsthand account, bro. That's like as solid as it gets. I mean, what do you want from me? Exactly. Apparently, and then they always, they, he said, you should have reached out to David. <clears throat> I'm sure David would respond to me about this, just like he's been ignoring Seth for two years, just like Philip DeFranco said he reached out to him and didn't get comment. I love this expectation that I need to reach out to everybody and just wait forever for them to give me a mm-hmm. response. Like, I owe them that. It's not it's like just, we have a relationship with David. We don't. Also, this isn't 60 minutes, bro. Like, I mean, <laughs> but like, you, he wouldn't have responded to me. He doesn't respond to anybody. You literally if just said. If he wanted to say anything, he's got the biggest platform in the world. Just say, I mean, what do you have to say? He started the video by saying that we don't respond to this shit. But right. I should have reached out to David. Yeah. Okay. Okay, dude. So, I would just like to say, don't call it sharing your truth if you're sharing a lie. Yo, that's Cause... like the most <laughs> fucked up thing. That is just seriously <laughs> such, so stupid. I mean, it's so, uh, it's so missing the point. I can't believe that he actually said that. That's what, that's exactly what victim shaming is. Don't mm-hmm. share your truth if the truth is a lie. Who are you to determine that, bro? Yeah. Look at that smug face on him right now. He's like, bro, I just, I just, I just did something to you. I just did something to you. I cannot. His smirk? <laughs> it's not true. What was that? <laughs> your sound bites are coming in. Kind of low. Back. I cannot. His 
smirk. I didn't even hear his it. Smirk. His smirk. Oh, okay. I accused David and Jason of sexual assault for a kissing prank that was done in 2017, which is so <laughs> fucked up because he was part of the videos, he knows what we do, and then after the prank was finished, David asked him. Not too long after that, I had an idea to pull the prank on him again, so I thought it would be fun to put you I, da, 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 da. I think we'll be all right. Get you to make out with Jason. I'm very confused by that because how the hell could you be so confident to tell me that I have to consent to something that I'm not going to know that I'm going to do? <laughs> David films hours and hours of footage and crams them into four minutes. And okay, so again, 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 I have to say, he accused me of not doing research, but he clearly didn't even watch our interview because we fucking addressed this. But also, he, he brushed so fast over the first incident. He, he's, he's mentioning there was a kiss in prank. Yeah. And then he goes into talking about the second time. Right. So right away. The, the point, the big point here, Scott, is that the first one, there was no consent. And that was the really And the first one was the trauma. <laughs> you know, and so... Um, I don't know how you missed that. Mm -hmm. But then he goes on to say, oh, well, he filmed him. So his evidence that that was okay is that, well, he filmed him the second time. And what he said clearly is not giving consent, by the way. Mm -hmm. And also, as David, as Seth said in the interview, if you watched it, which you clearly didn't, and you're, you're criticizing me for not doing research, is Seth said that he never gave consent and he told him not to do it, and all David cut in was this clip of him saying, how can I give you consent if I don't know what you're going to do, which is literally not consent. I'll play he, it again. Also, he also explained something that you don't seem to understand is just the pressure in the situations. And as a victim, you may be going along with it because you're on camera, you're trying to look cool, you're trying to be cool with the fans. So the fact that he kind of went along with the second one or whatever, that doesn't mean that it wasn't a traumatic experience or that he has now trauma with himself after the fact. Yeah, that's, that's like, like one of the classic victim shaming, let's say, fallacies. There's like... There's a bunch of victim shaming fallacies and he hits on all of them. One of them is like, why did, why didn't he, why did it take so long to come forward? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's like, I, it's the fact that I even have to explain this stuff is ridiculous because I know he knows this. If it was a girl, he would know this. Why did it take so long for her to come forward? A lot of victims often don't realize that they've been traumatized until years later because it takes time to figure things out in your mind. Okay. Why didn't she leave sooner? I'm just, I'm using it in terms you understand. That's why I'm doing it from the female perspective, because so you understand it, Scotty. Why didn't she leave sooner? A lot of times victim abuser relationships are really complicated, and the victim often wants to please the abuser to be accepted by them, right? It's a complicated relationship. He says later in the video, if it's so serious, why didn't he go to the police? Again, why didn't she go to the police? Another one. I mean, that's such a complicated question to ask. Why didn't it take so long to figure this out to even think, oh, there was a crime? You know, he also with Seth specifically, there is so much friend, baggage please. with where he comes from. And I mean, do we really need to go there? Like, it's like, yeah, it may not be that easy for him to go to the police. He hits something on. you don't understand. I'm, all, I'm saying this now. He hasn't said it yet, but he will because he literally hits every single fallacy, victim shaming fallacy. The, the one he said in the beginning, he was nice to me. Okay, and it doesn't mean that he did anything bad to anyone else. And then he goes on to try to assassinate his character, calls him a clout chaser. Uh, ex uh, we'll, we'll get into it. I'm getting ahead of myself. But, like, he's so missing the point, bro. The videos, he knows what we do. And then after he knows the prank was finished, David asked... Is, how is that what you do? <laughs> That's not what you do. You didn't get pranked like that. Show me where you had Jason uh, stick his tongue down your throat and grab your ass. And also have David admit on camera, on his podcast, which Scotty never addresses, that it was racially motivated because he knew he was from Compton. Mm -hmm. Bro. Tim. Not too long after that, I had an idea to pull the prank on him again. So I thought it would be fun to play your music. Da, 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 da. Permission to try to prank you again and get you to make out with Jason. I'm very confused by that because how Listen the hell the did consent. you be so confident to tell me that I have to consent to something that I'm not going to know that I'm going to do? <laughs> David Films. Wow. Did you hear consent? Did you hear consent? Well, I think he's alluding to the fact that he cut it out. 
probably, or something, because he has to cut down the food. No, that was in the video. We talked about it. We showed it when we interviewed Seth. I said, what is this? He's basically calling Seth a liar. I know, but he didn't, nobody cut that out. We, that was in the original video. No, he's saying David has to cut out his footage because oh, he shoots for so right. much, but the video is only 420 well, minutes. Yeah, but Seth explained that. He said he never gave him consent, yeah. which is evidenced by the fact it's, that it's, he never showed him saying he It's still him beside the point because he's not addressing the first time. He did not right. consent to the first time. Or the second time, though. Or the second time. He didn't consent to the second time. He failed to prove that he consented to the second he, time. He doesn't show footage of showing otherwise. I don't no, know. No, he, I mean. he failed to show that. And Seth already explained this, which he clearly didn't see. Hours and hours of footage and crams them into four minutes and 20 seconds for his vlog. So this clip was cut short to not actually show Seth giving his consent, but showing David so where is asking it? for the when consent. When I first watched now, this, I was like, okay, so show. I was like, okay. I was like, good. I was like, good. If you if you are showing Seth saying, yes, it's fine. That included, he never fucking showed it. He literally never showed it. And I was like, what the hell is this sorry ass video? You think David would go and film this bit if Seth had said no? Uh, no. Prove There's it. No way. What am I supposed to just trust you? Like, what the fuck? Are you, what kind of point are you trying to make? Do you really think, his, his defense is, do you really think David <laughs> would do that? He is such a nice guy. <laughs> okay, bro. Ugh. You think he bleaches his tips? You think that's his natural hair color? I'm just curious because I like his hair color. Yeah? Because yeah. I'm in the market now for, <laughs> for tip advice. I think that's natural. Really? I have to mm. guess. Mm. <laughs> oh, AB says he's a redhead naturally. Wait, is he redhead? No. What? I mean, is that kind yeah. of red hair? That looks red, I guess. Mm. AB's the expert on all this. Here, he's typing. Go ahead, Abby. You can move. tell me about his oh, hair. I was give me the shoddy hair find. tips. No, I was trying to find a picture of him with his natural hair color. But yeah, his natural yeah. hair is red. Oh, I, oh that's, wow. not, that's not his natural hair. Yeah. Huh? huh? But Abby's okay. cool. You know, he's not like no. That. You, <laughs> you know, I wonder. You think he'll put me in touch with a stylist? After this video, maybe not. Bro, you literally just sent me a JFIF file. Like, what the fuck <laughs> is this? What am I? Like, A.B., what are you sending me? I'm trying to run a show, not download, like, like, Zip Converter. <laughs> <laughs> he sends me a file of a JFIF file. It says, it just shows, like, an empty file. Like, it doesn't know how to open it. Right. I, I don't know why I saved so like much. that. All right, let's move on. Anyway, nice hair, Scotty. In hell. This is from... Oh, we got the... Okay, this is important. It really isn't. <laughs> Here's his natural hair. You're right, it's not important. It's not. <laughs> Very You're important right. stuff. Let's move on. <laughs> period of time when David was always at my house editing, and I very vividly remember when he was editing that clip, there was a clip in there of Seth agreeing and giving his permission Where is it? to film this bit again. He was like, there's no way you're going to get it on me again. There's no way you're going to get it's me again. Not yet. So go ahead, go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the clip, bro? I mean, even if that existed... Yeah, exactly. It doesn't address the first time. I still don't think that it would change my mind that much no, about anything. It's just, it's just more of a comment about how like, yeah. poorly conceived this video was. Yeah. But you're right, because he fails to address the first time, by the way, and the podcast clip, which I think he must not have seen either, while accusing me of not doing my research, in which David says, I'll, sh I'll show it again, for to, because some people may not have seen it. In fact, let me just sh open it. So, Scotty, if you're watching this, I do think that this is a very important clip, which you did not mention, which is from the podcast. You could ever fake. Here. It was so perfect, and I feel so bad, and it's just, it's, it's awful because the poor guy had to go through that, and his friends are probably going to chew him out for that for the next, like, three, five years of his life. <laughs> well, as Seth tells it, the uh, homosexuality is not so accepted in his, where he comes from. <laughs> Seth's from Compton. Dudes kissing dudes is not so accessible. Seth's from Compton, so it's like the perfect, like, at least straight dudes kissing it's literally straight the dudes. perfect setup. Like, a guy from Compton, and I made him make out with another older is that man. Good? It's, not it's good for Seth. It gets him some airtime. It gets him, some air time. Seth, gets him air time. Seth was really. <laughs> Yo, Scotty, you didn't respond to that part, dude. That was brutal. Like, why didn't you respond to that if you're all about research and putting out the truth? That seems really fucked up. 
And you know, uh, something that stands out to me again is when I interviewed Seth, it, stu- it struck out to me how they specifically targeted him. Because he was minding his own business, he just got back from the airport, he was driving home, and they specifically call him and say, come over. Like, this prank was for Seth. They specifically targeted Seth. Mm-hmm. And Seth said, I think it's because it was racially motivated. And I was like, well, that'd be messed up if it's true, but like, how can I know? Well, this clip came out and I was like, oh my God, he was right. It was mm-hmm. definitely racially motivated. So, Scotty, I mean, where are you at, bro, on the facts? On the uh, research, you know? Wake up, Scotty. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Scotty. Now you're living. <laughs> I saw somebody, saw somebody say that in chat, and just had to. <laughs> so this is after. So now he shows a clip of after. And again, this is all public shit, right? Like we've talked about all this. This is after the second prank, the beef jerky prank. Again, so go ahead, go for it. You're the best. You're the fucking best, David. This motherfucker told me that He's this in was gonna shock, happen by again. The way. <laughs> if you've listened, to Seth, talk about it. <laughs> Excuse me. He was in shock because he thought he was getting this big commercial deal. He told his family he was depending on the money. And he pulled the fucking rug out from under him. Mm-hmm. It was all fake. And he left him his ass empty handed, too, which he didn't mention about how in the commercial deal he was meant to get twenty five hundred bucks. And um, and then David wasn't going to pay him. He's like, dude, I need that money. Like. <laughs> I've been and s- it's just the fact that he's even showing this clip just shows how he doesn't know anything about like victim again because Seth explained behavior. he's like it was either throw hands or be cool about it yeah he's on camera he's put on the spot this is like it doesn't mean anything no it's insane it's really sad because it seems like as people say Scotty is an otherwise really nice guy so mm-hmm it's just weird to see a guy miss the point so much. I think it's more of a testament to the cultish vlog squaddy. And David definitely put him up to this, even if it was up subconscious, by sending him mm-hmm. that extra evidence you get, which you guys will see, and being like, "Yo, like you know what I mean? Like he yeah. knew he was gonna make this video. He fucking let him. He threw his ass to the wolves, bro." Respect the fucking man that keeps his word. <laughs> you can tell by his reaction at the end of the video that he was pranked. It was all in good fun, and he gave permission beforehand. He gave David. Can't for- this is no, no. What you're saying is not. First of all, him <laughs> reacting like that is not proof he gave permission. No. I mean, how? What does that mean? What does that even mean? And also, he's in shock. Clear. I mean, dude, stop. Props on getting him with that prank a second time. Some of David's vlogs happen just like in real time, you know, like and, and, and something will happen and he captures it on film. But most of these things are preconceived and everyone talks about like what bit is going to be filmed. So was a lot of one? the things that Seth was in were his ideas. I'm not saying that- Was this one? Was yeah. this one preconceived? Did Seth know? Obviously not, based on the way David talked about it on his podcast and what Seth's first account. Uh, so what is your point here? These kissing pranks were his ideas, but he did give consent to them and he partook in them. You he have not showed any several evidence bits of that. after and before the next ones and was totally fine with it. Like I'd, I'd never heard a word from him about being uncomfortable. <laughs> not here you? to force anyone to do anything. There's Again, <laughs> bro, you, this is so sad. This is like a, a this is like a tutorial on how to victim shame. So you you never heard him say he's uncomfortable, so therefore it must be a lie. Did you hear him say on our podcast that he was uncomfortable? Do victims of abuse just walk around talking about how about how uncomfortable they are? Yeah. You know, he even said in his interview, which again you didn't watch, about how it took him a while to internalize it and yeah. understand the dynamic of the group and how it was affecting him and how he's like the butt of all these racist jokes again, yeah. which you don't acknowledge. There's a clip somewhere of Seth pranking Jason. Okay, so now, now we move on to the um, victim. Dragon uh, uh, Seth. Uh, the character assassination portion of this video. Okay, Seth did a prank where he put his ass in Jason's face, so it excuses what happened to him. Sorry, bro, I'm not fucking on board with this argument at all. And what's your point of bringing this up exactly? Well, he put a, he's put his ass in Jason's face once, so that totally excuses being assaulted. Yeah. Like Seth's behind. <laughs> this is like a, everybody's fucking around with each other here. We're all friends and Dude, like, sorry, but assault's we do not dumb fucking shit. Around. David looked through his text messages and found one of Seth's numbers asking him to do the kissing prank a third time. Seth literally requested to do so it. So this a- is important. This is where you know David's involved. And this is probably how David got his ass to make the video. 
And it's a, uh, this is interesting because it's an insight to how really David feels about this situation. Yeah. This is David's response, you know. Hmm. So here he goes. A third time. Guys, this is a text from Seth from about two years ago. He goes, yo, bro, I was thinking about it. I'm down for another kissing sketch. I said, haha, what do you mean? He goes, lol, I don't really care as long as you clout me up. I'm not gay. Just don't care. And then he sends me this. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I mean, it's the same shit. Just, I don't know more open-minded i don't know if seth completely forgot. so again he the fact that he says in that that he's more open-minded now means I, that he was pissed that off, he was obviously not pissed off about the, the previous two times but as i as i kind of said it's like the fact that seth asked to do it a third time does not negate anything that happened before i mean it doesn't mean that he can still feel the way he feels now that that is what happens to victims in a, in a abusive situations. You can go back and want it again, and that doesn't mean that two years later you're gonna realize, or ten years later you're gonna realize that you were in a really fucked up situation. You mm. were being used and abused. And you crave their approval. You crave their attention. You crave their um, their approval. Yeah. So so that. That's how I see this. You're it's just missing the point, and you're pointing it as like the big slam dunk. Like, hey, look, he wanted it a third time. No one knew that. Why'd she go back? That's like the why'd she go back then fallacy. Yeah. He wants the approval of David. He wants the approval of the vlog squad. It's this really powerful, potent thing, right? And it's it's so val and so much comes with it. So much good things come with it. And then he thinks to himself, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I am overreacting. Maybe mm -hmm. I should be cool with them again and be in with them again. Maybe it's good for my career. What am I doing? Why am I withdrawing? I want to mm -hmm. I want to please them. I need this attention for my career. Yeah, yeah, all these stuff. So he says, "You know what? I'm going to uh, maybe I should do it again, you know, get him cool with them. It'll be another video. I know I got fucked over the last few times, but this time I'll make sure I don't get fucked over. Clout me up." And he probably feels ashamed about even going back and asking for that third time. Right. It's not really anything to um it's not brag like a, about. It's not a slam I'm sure he's very ashamed of that, but that doesn't yeah. mean anything about the accusation. Right. And it's often very complicated like this, and which is a pre reason why victims don't come forward. Yeah. Cuz there's a bu there's people who be like, "Oh, well this and this and this and this." And it's like, "Okay. Your there's feelings like aren't a, valid." It's like you're carrying a lot of guilt and shame. Remember what he said and, at the beginning? So it's don't not come that easy. Don't, don't tell me your truth if it's a lot. Yeah. Oh, up. break time? Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of a... <laughs> mm, let's not do it now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to do a break now. Peace and love. God about that, or if he just hoped that David would never find it, the way that he hoped that David had a new computer and didn't have the extra four hours of footage? No, I don't... Okay, wait, let me go back. Fucking dumbass. I don't think he forgot about it, dude. Yeah. I'm sure he didn't. More open-minded. I don't know if Seth completely forgot about that or if he just hoped that David would never find it the way that he hoped that David had a new computer and didn't have the extra four hours of footage that surrounded the four minute and 20 vlog. That so what is he referring to? Because I haven't seen that footage. He's, he's just saying, saying that he doesn't have the footage. Yeah, he he's hoping. saying. Oh, how convenient. Yeah, yeah. he's saying, though, he that Seth is lying, supposedly. So, but, but that's interesting because it implies that they were looking for it together. Mm. Right, probably right. they were. Mm -hmm. We gotta take this fucking Seth guy out instead of just apologizing to him. Yeah. Because that would have still been only consent for the second time. But what about the first time? Yeah, He's still always, not addressing. Ignoring the racially still motivated first time. Not addressing it. Yeah. Scotty! <laughs> Wake up, Scotty. Included. Wake the up bit of him consenting to the prank but what you're doing is fucked up seth also you posted revenge porn of our friend aaron do you know how that's affected her you posted revenge porn which is actually it's 100 percent illegal it's totally immoral and so so fucked up did you get her consent i don't mean to sound aggressive okay I'm so this is something that gets brought up a lot by people who are i guess trying to defend david now <clears throat> again this is further Character assassination and whataboutism. Whatever Seth has done 
has whatever he Seth did in that situation has literally nothing to do with this. And he's trying to change the conversation. He's trying to assassinate Seth's character, de legitimize him. That being said, it is something that comes up a lot. And although I'm not here to defend Seth in any way, I looked into it and I just because I really wanted to understand. I mean, it sounds like what happened. So there's this girl. I'm just going. To, I'm not defending Seth. I'm just explaining what happened because it took me a minute to understand the situation. So there's this girl, Seth, who used. To, and correct me if I'm wrong at any point, AB, because I know you're familiar with all the timeline. Mm -hmm. There's this uh, girl, Aaron, who was a part of the vlog squad. Her ex-boyfriend, there's a clip of her using a racial slur, the N-word. But she was naked in that clip. Um, a private A private something. clip. It wasn't public. It was a private clip that her ex-boyfriend took of her or something like that. And he threatened, I guess she, she said in her video that he was blackmailing her to put it out. It sounded horrible. I mean, horrible situation. The ex-boyfriend. Yeah. I, I mean, Not I felt sick. really... The ex-boyfriend. The ex-boyfriend was threatening her and blackmailing her. Which was a horrible situation. I felt really bad for him. He's absolutely terrible. And so apparently the, he does release it. Or she said that he wanted money or something. And some guy, by the way, Jesus. Yeah. And she said she's not going to pay him. So he put it out there of her naked saying the N-word. Okay. And so that's out there by her ex-boyfriend. And then Seth makes this video in response to the vlog squad he called it uh fake activism because he felt like these guys do have signs of racism in amongst them and but they were doing all this like black lives matter stuff and so he's yeah. like oh this is fake activism so he made a video about their fake activism and in that video was a very was very briefly aaron saying the n-word but just to say, he did, he, not, he didn't even blur, he totally blacked out the bottom part, and it was just her head saying it. So when I watched that video back, I didn't, I had no idea that she was naked or anything, but. Um, so Seth included that video in his compilation, compilation very briefly. Um, and uh, that's basically what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, should have should Seth have included that that clip in his compilation? No, it was messed yeah. up because it was a private clip. It was c calling attention to it, and um, I definitely don't think that Seth should have included that clip. And I understand her being like, I I just don't want people, you know, it's like so traumatic. It sounds mm -hmm. like it's so traumatic for her the whole situation. So Seth should not have included that in his clip, but. But uh, so so no, I'm not I'm I'm not going to defend Seth on that situation. But I do think it's important to understand what actually happened because to just put be like, oh, he shared revenge p word. Yeah, vast oversimplification of what happened. I kept hearing that because that's something a lot of people would bring up now, and um, I had imagined something like. Well, uh, revenge porn is is true. Well, I, listen, I'm not here to defend. I'm, I'm not, not here, here to, to define defend, it or but defend him in any way. But that's what happened. It was messed up. He shouldn't have done that. Yeah. And it's got nothing to do with this. That's my point. It's right. got literally nothing to do with this. I mean, you're trying to change the topic and you're trying to assassinate his character, okay? And it's got nothing to do with this. So why are you bringing it up? Exactly. That's it. That's all I want to say about that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to be very logical here, but what you're doing and what you've done is so fucked up and the lies that you're telling are ruining other people's lives. And I know that you spoke to David a couple years ago in private and told him you felt uncomfortable about the video and so he took the video down. And I totally understand. Unlisted. By the way, he's admitting here that last year it took place that he told him he's not comfortable with it anymore. So how is he saying so in the first part? it was an issue. Yeah, how is he saying in the first part, like, I never knew anything about it, blah, 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 blah. He's right. like, you're saying that a few years ago or last year, he told, asked David to take the videos down, which Seth said once again in the interview that you didn't watch, that he didn't even private them. He unlisted them, which Seth didn't appreciate. Because I guess people were still able to find it. Or also, like you, if it's in a playlist, you can still watch yeah, it, or right? Yeah, unlisted, you can watch it if you have the link. If it's in a playlist, exactly. Also, you ignore the part where Seth said he started. He wanted to offer him money to leave it up, right. and Seth knew at that moment that you guys were not his friends. Mm -hmm. You ignored that part, Scotty. Which, by the way, if he was a cloud chaser, he would just take the money, but he didn't. He said, "Please remove it." 
which David didn't even do, dude. So like, you're totally misrepresenting the truth, which you're, which is what you're accusing me of. What the f? Oops. Was that you? Yeah, oh. but I don't think it matters. Okay. This is soundboard. <laughs> you just violently <laughs> kicked the soundboard off. Not the at all violent. Get out! Fuck! <laughs> 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 cool about the video, and so he took the video down, and I totally understand feelings of regret and you do. feeling uncomfortable about something that you've done in the past, but you can't blame your uncomfortableness or your regret for your actions when you were it wasn't his actions brah the first two the first one for sure like we can't even debate i don't think it's your place to be here and say yeah. what he can or can't feel right yeah, now it's, the, it's right. just not yeah you does, just haven't been through the situation and you just don't understand it clearly you don't understand but what your his missing feelings is that david is such a nice guy he him. doesn't have a bad bone in his body he, he doesn't get mad at people just disappointed <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Seth, I'm disappointed and therefore I will not pay you yeah. what I owe you. Yeah. Just disappointed. Hey, do you think that Scotty's going to get a disappointing talking to after this video he put out? <laughs> um, probably. Scotty, I'm not mad. I'm just, why did you do that, man? That's how he says he talks. Why did you do that, man? <laughs> Aww. Aww. A part you partook in it you were interested in it you wanted to do it you wanted to be clouded um, up and i could totally see you being uncomfortable about that bit now in hindsight okay. when you were then, then what's you the can? point what, what is the point of this video so why can't your master aka david just come in and say something just you know when sorry seems to be the hardest word yeah you look at to say singing that elton john song just come out and say sorry. Just say, you know, Seth, you know, that was, wasn't cool. Like, and let's start there. What do I got to do <laughs> to make you love me? I'm going to get claimed for singing that too perfectly. <laughs> what do I got to do to make you care? Why do you have to bring that up? It's been playing in my head. What do I say <laughs> when the lightning strikes me? When sorry seems to be the hardest word. Oh, That's there sad. it is. <laughs> so sad. Okay, I can, I can do this all day, folks. <laughs> it's a sad, sad situation. All right, let's move on. Elton John, everybody. I know that you were just <laughs> filming videos for David's channel and probably hoping that it built up your social media platform and you built a career out of it. And I don't think that that worked. And I think you got bitter about it. And after a couple of years, Dude, you're you were such like, a fucking I, asshole I want right now. something yeah. out of this. I was embarrassed in that prank and I want something out of it. So I'm going to go after them. It's a okay, bro, what you're you doing here right now so, is so bad. <laughs> it's so you are. That is so fucked up, bro, that you're even yeah. putting that out there. Yeah. Your career failed, so you were looking for some way to get something out of this. You were bitter, and now really? you're lying because it didn't work out for you. This is totally you speculating boy. right now, so why put that out there? He's so this deluded, man. He's got, I don't know what is going on in this guy's brain, but like, I can't imagine even putting that out there. Like, yeah. they, must, they must be having these internal conversations among themselves I and do just think, getting all worked up. You know I, I mean? do think that this is exactly what they're all thinking. Oh, for this sure. is definitely for sure. everyone's words in that group. This is what they're saying to each for other. For sure. That's why it's that's like actually what an echo chamber is. Is they're yeah. in this group chat, everyone's super pissed, they're totally convinced that what they're saying is right. And so he comes out here being like, I've got the answers, but then everyone's like, This ain't it. Because yeah. we're not in that echo chamber. Or Daddy David is fucking Daddy Dom David. Daddy Dom David, will you change my diaper? Daddy. 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 <laughs> so fucked up. Okay, what about Trisha then? She's really successful. What's her excuse? Yeah, why you shouldn't... I mean, whatever. It's like, it's stupid. Yeah. Okay, what about this bird? What about Big Nick? <laughs> what about Trisha? What about... Sa Don't you think there's a, just like maybe one or two too many people coming out with accusations to write off as just bitter? Mm. Maybe there's something within your guys' organization that's rotten. That's causing all these people to come out and say they weren't comfortable with what happened there. At least. Maybe your policy of just ignoring doesn't work. Well, how about some real introspection instead of like, you know, like this clearly. 
is the thought of people who are not introspective in the least bit and are just totally not taking any criticism common tendency for people to go and say that they're not in the videos anymore because they were uncomfortable about doing a bit How and common? then you, you were just never hit up again which is false in Seth's interview oh. with H3 he talked about the situation in one way and in his other interviews earlier he talked about the situation in a completely different way at the end of the day I would have laughed at it if it was someone else you know what I'm saying mm. so like I'm the kind of person if I feel like I would laugh at something like don't put don't dish anything out if you're he's part of the gang he's trying to be it. cool so dude like, mm -hmm. when was this and when was our interview like you don't have any space in your mind actually he does that's what's so odd because he goes oh now you realize that it was embarrassing mm -hmm. but then you didn't it's like yeah that's how it works bro i'm gonna call my mom and see what my mom thinks mm. about this and i called my mom and she just started busting up laughing I'm like if my Let's mom let me read let me read the title this is from david dobrik's apparently subreddit seth recently had these videos deleted off youtube the first was up in 2017 long time ago four years ago yeah right when it happened until yesterday the second will probably be gone tomorrow well probably okay and the so, second one seth talks about the prank his busyness and his thoughts on race and the n-word it's not like you're saying today in in this this is from current, 2017 in this current headspace of seth he said one thing on this podcast and another thing on another podcast Th that would woman, be interesting yeah, but this was a woman none of this would be this conversation wouldn't even take place. Everybody knows these things. It's only for men where we don't get this. We people, but, but like people, a guy like Scotty, like he strikes me as a guy who's very sensitive and attuned and like pro women's rights and Me Too and all that. You know what I mean? Like he just, I don't know him personally, but I feel like he gets these concepts. Mm -hmm. He understands these issues. Laughing her ass off. How Everyone else are going to laugh their fucking what ass off. I think the magnitude of the lies you've been spreading are unforgivable and you should face repercussion. I was there. Okay, so again, this is as close to a threat for legal action as you can get because he's working directly with David. So he knows something about what David's up to. So when he's saying you should face repercussion, it's clearly something that they've talked about. Mm. Now, let me also say on the legal merit, that's just so patently absurd. To, to If anyone has a cause for legal repercussion, it's David. You know what I mean? On Seth. Seth. Yeah, save, yeah, Seth has a case. He has a real case, you know. But, like, again, you're, you're, based, you're indirectly threatening Seth or saying that the threat of a lawsuit is out there mm -hmm. and it should exist. And it might exist because I talked to David and he sends me clips. Victim scaring. Creating these moments and bits with Also, them. once again, reminder, investor in Dispo. Investor in Dispo. <laughs> exactly. Threatening a lawsuit against Seth. So, again, bro, like, you really should have kept your mouth shut on this. And you were here creating the moments and bits that you were in with everybody. A lot of things were your ideas. And I don't know how you could lie what about that. What do you that. mean a lot of things was his idea? You just can't stop. Those weren't. Even David says those weren't his ideas. There's literal proof of you being so down for doing these bits. And now these you're backtracking bits? and saying, I was so uncomfortable, but I took the high road and just like played it off like I wasn't. You asked to do it a third time. And in retaliation for this, years later, you post our friend's naked body on the internet. It's revenge porn. He so didn't post. Okay, so once again, dude, he, that's I not, just have to correct right. the record. He did not post her naked body. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking defamatory lie. Mm -hmm. He did not post her naked. Or maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing I something. I mean, it sounds like everyone looked into it. I mean, I hope I'm not missing something speaking out of turn, but from what I can tell is that he only, he used it in this video and it was, it was cropped all the way out. There was no nakedness. There was no even hint of nakedness. So he should not have used that clip, which was very private and draw, draw attention to it. But to say he posted the naked, vi the naked image of your friend is really fucked up to say, in my opinion after looking over the facts. I hope I'm not wrong. I might be speaking at a turn and he may have tweeted it or something, so I don't know. But we looked really hard into this to try to make sure we were right on this. And as far as I can tell, he did Some not do that. Some people in the chat saying, yes, he did. He did? See, I don't know what, what's true and what's Other not. Other people saying he did not, so I don't know. Uh, 
I, 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 he blurred it. The whole vlog squad have been putting forward this thing that he's put posted naked pictures of her. And so I think there's a lot of so people that I think guess. that's true. But as far as I could tell, based on all the research we did, which was it a lot. It might be that he didn't blur it at first or didn't crop it at first and then he did it after. On the internet or on, in the video? Yeah, there's some, some people saying he posted it uncensored at first. So well, at that's first, fucked. Yeah, yeah, that is fucked up. Yeah. But I don't know what's the truth, unfortunately, because... I mean, everybody's saying he did, but, I mean, there's... I haven't seen evidence, and, you know, there's a lot of misinformation about, about it. Well, it is fucked up. But, again, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not here to... So, so maybe he's right. I don't, maybe I'm speaking at a turn. And I'm definitely not here to defend Seth on that point. Like, let yeah. me make that very clear. Like, just because Seth has done something fucked up doesn't mean that he can't be a victim. You know what I mean? Which apparently is his point. Which is a really bad point. It's like, just if you've made... You know, again, I, I don't know what's the truth on that. I have never found that tweet in my research of him sharing that. If someone has it, I'd, I'm just curious to know what's the truth. Because if they're putting that out there and it's not true, that's really twisted, in my opinion. But if it's true, I, then, then it's super fucked that he did that, you know? I mean, for sure. I mean, the uh, thing is that we look. We, but again, it's not. That's not what we're even talking. We're about. not saying that Seth is a saint or anything, really. I it's well. It's just a know? whole separate conversation. Yeah. This, this is, is like a separate issue entirely. Yeah. So I shouldn't even. Sp I, that's why I feel like I shouldn't even speak on the topic. It's just that he brings it up, and a lot of right. people bring it up, and so I wanted to explain it as best as I could. But I'm not. And, I don't and, know. Uh, I don't want it to seem like we're ignoring it either, because we are aware. Of the situation, just as much as we can, we weren't following the situation when things happened. So one thing for sure is that it's it's hard to for us now to understand what the timeline was back then. If anybody has, yeah, I don't know. You guys are looking at chat and stuff. So if you see any like actual evidence, I'm really curious. I'm googling around right now, and the only thread I can find about it on Twitter um, is him saying. The video was not monetized, nor was there nudity in the video. But thank you for your input. Right. I, I've read that. She is saying, why would you put that clip out of me? And that was his response. So, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I don't know. How there may have been a... So what I'm suspecting happened is there was a version of the video that we've all seen where the nudity was just blurred, and then he got backlash for it, and he deleted it and re-uploaded it with, with it fully cropped. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I think, that, I think that that's how this played really? out. Really? I, I think so. Just based off, I, I mean, I'm inferring from an old oh. Twitter thread, so, because obviously the original video is gone if it ever was up, so. Well, who knows? It's not my area. Yeah. I, I don't uh, know. It seems like. Again, we're, it is we're still not defending beside, that anyways. He should yeah, have done yeah. that. Yeah, That's the should, point. Yeah. It is still beside the point, though. Of it's, not the, it's not what we're here to talk about, and I think that's very important to say, is that he's trying to change the topic. Yeah. You know. For this years later, you post our friend's naked body on the internet. It's revenge porn. It's well, you're saying he blurred it, uh, but well, whatever. Again, it doesn't matter. It's fucked up. You suck. I can only speak on what I know about, and I know that Seth and Big Nick have both been on H3's podcast, and you are part of the reason that these oh, this lies for me. have snowballed. Listen and up. So oh, here we go. Oh, you know when someone mentioned my name, I, I'm up for it. Oh boy. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Play that champ music for me. Get the war horn going. <laughs> oh, no, we're over the serious part. And now it's time for war. Foot soldiers, assemble! <laughs> Let's first of all, before he mentions my name, before anything goes down, hit me with another frog horn. Wiki feet, Scotty, oh, sire. <laughs> you know what time it is. Foot soldiers, a call to arms, or a call to feet. Oh, dude, he's already gotten wrecked. Wait, did the foot soldiers already visit his page? No! The foot soldiers have already laid bare a desecration upon Scotty Sire's wiki feet. There shall be no survivors. Oh, Scotty's kind of into the whole wiki feet thing. Look at these shots, bro. He's in there. <laughs> Wake up, Scotty. This is war. How dare you? What the fuck, Wake Scotty? Up. You were trying to get that high rating, bro. Who's a shot like that? An arm, a call to arms. 
<laughs> or call the feet. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do? <laughs> Let's call the feet, everybody. <laughs> wow, dude, the foot soldiers have already oh, been God. here. That's crazy. <laughs> Y'all are next level. I've been seeing the messages throughout this whole thing. Oh. Go God. tank his score. Wow. So. Oh, God. <laughs> Hitchforks are out. Swords are ready. <laughs> AB says it was a 4.6 before the show started. Oh, Ooh, no. Boy. Oh, that's rough. Scotty, you fucked I up want to wrong. smell feet. Mm. Oh, is that so, Hila? <laughs> never said she it. She never said that. Well, I happen to be number one on Wiki Feet, so if there's any foot you should be smelling, it's mine. True. You should be so honored. <laughs> this, years later, you post our friends. All right, friends Scotty, what do you have to say about me? <laughs> Naked body on the internet? It's revenge porn. It's illegal. It's fucked up. You suck. I can only speak on what I know about, and I know that Seth and Big Nick have both been on H3's podcast, and you are part of the reason that these lies have snowballed and gotten so big, because you... Do you lies. Think, do you think the reason this snowballed and got so big is because David never responds, and he sends you out to fucking respond? Do you think part of the reason why this is snowballed and got so big is because David literally doesn't fucking answer Seth's text? Like Seth said in the interview, if he would have just answered his text a few days before he came on the show, he wouldn't even come on the show and fucking talked about it. So how is it my fucking fault that this has snowballed when David David and Jason have literally made no effort to make peace with these guys, nor address these rumors publicly. So how the fuck is it my fault for this snowballing? Right. I'm, I'm same. I mean, same with Big right. Nick. Like Big Nick said that David never made any public kind uh, of acknowledgement of what happened or yeah. how things ended. Like it's just things need to be addressed, not by you. You know. Come on, dude. This is stupid. Get your head out of your ass, Scotty. Don't make me go back Come to your wiki on, page. Man. Come You're on, You're a lion man. dog face pony soldier. Ponytail. Come on, man. He's spreading the lies without any sort of verification. In fact, when they Bro, were... Bro, I have done... Dude, to say that I have not verified is so ironic considering your video has... has omitted so much information, has completely not addressed the main thrusts of the accusation. And to come here and say that I have spread lies, which you have made no effort to even dispel based on like hearsay and situational evidence, is so, I don't know if he's just dumb or he's just too angry. Yeah, I don't know what to mean, with this guy. You yourself just did it in this video, spreading your own speculation that Seth is just doing it because his career didn't succeed and he's just looking to get something out of the situation. Right. I mean, that's fucking, that's a rotten thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, be cool, Ethan. This is the foot soldier moment, though. I can be amped up during this part. Right? No. I heard, I'll play the foghorn. Play it, quickly. Now you're living. <laughs> Oh, you hear that, Ela? It's the call of battle. When they were talking, I watched you, Ethan, take what they said and say, oh, that's so fucked up. So they did oh. this. You like you would take their words and you would make it sound even worse than what they hey, said. Shut up, dude. It's called interviewing, <laughs> douche. It's called asking follow-up questions, you dumbass. It's also our opinion. I think we're allowed to uh, you think about it what we think about it. And you it. made it sound bad. And I mean, that was fucked up. Yeah. You made it sound bad because you think it's bad, right? I do think it's bad. Okay. But I f it's called follow-up questions, bruh. Would you want me to make it sound nice? Oh, but that's, probably what not da that's probably not what David meant. I did not have <laughs> consent. Are you sure you didn't have consent? Because, I mean, David is a really nice guy, and he would not do that to anyone. <laughs> that's Scotty's version of how that interview should have gone. <laughs> Listen, David, as I know, he's never mad at people, just disappointed. That's not something he would ever do. No, no, what he said was, that's not something we would ever do. Oh. Take their words, and you would make it sound even worse than what they said. But I, I think that you should, in the future, at least try to verify some of the information like that's what? being told to what you. Or maybe I even reach out to the people that you have. Again, reach out to David, like Philip DeFranco did, who, like, he, like, he never got a response. Like, probably tons of fucking media people have been reaching out to him nonstop. He has not made a comment. Mm -hmm. I should have reached out. I should have fact-checked. The original source, the first-hand account of a victim. I should have fact-checked that. What are you saying? It doesn't make sense. And now you got a one on WikiFeed, bro. Look what you've done to yourself. Not, not a one. I don't know. Let's check. Maybe a 1.2. I don't know. 
Scotty, let's go back. Scotty Sire. <laughs> Here, I got to keep the pa I got to keep his wiki feed page open as we go through this. Uh, he's down to a three point two. Yeah, he's still pretty good. Do you think he's got nice feet? I mean, he's jacked. He's like a handsome guy, but the feet shots don't really do it for me. I mean, I want to smell feet. That's a lot, don't you think? <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. Wait, you hesitated. You like his foot? No, I don't okay, like... Okay, okay. My problem is that I pretty much don't like any foot. So. Oh, it's a lot for you to take in? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> guess on talking about because the things that are being said on YouTube now and on your podcast show are things that should be said in a courtroom if they're true classic victim shaming why didn't you go to the police next I mean the statute of limitations probably passed but maybe not for civil I, I don't know it's complicated I have no idea it's complicated also he's embarrassed he's humiliated he doesn't even you know what I mean like it took him years to come to terms with it you just how are you misunderstanding this man Bruh, bruh moment, dude. Anyway, that's my take on the subject, and I hope that people who feel the need to make big false claims realize that if they're serious enough, they will be addressed, and hopefully you'll get in trouble for it. Exactly. Another legal threat. You'll get in trouble for it. Nice. Bruh. So, because <sighs> it's, it's wrong. Scotty's hot take, ladies and gentlemen. Scotty's hot take, everybody. So, um, really gotta do that after. okay, now we got to do Mint Mobile and we'll talk a little bit about the other mm -hmm. stuff. So, um, we will throw to the ad and we'll be right back. After the year we've all been through, saving money should be at the top of everybody's list. So if you're still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless, what are you doing? <laughs> Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans that start at just $15 a month. <laughs> Um, Dan actually is using Mint Mobile. Dan, tell us about your experience. Yes, sir. Uh, it's super simple. I'm going to send you this little envelope, and inside comes a SIM card. You just pop that little puppy. It's not here anymore because I popped it out, but you pop that puppy into your phone, uh, do a little sign up, boom, bam, took about like 15 minutes, Bob's your uncle, and uh, it works great. And you are cruising along at just $15 a month. How is the service, Dan? How's the quality? It's great. It's just like a, a, any of the major carriers. Wow. And your text messages, they, they go through just the fine. The text messages go through. That's like and a it makes, mom question. It makes telephone <laughs> calls, too. And how are the, qual the how calls? Is the they go through? Uh, the email, the emails uh, arrive safely at their destination. Wow! People, look at that. People, it works great. It's weird. Nobody answers my phone calls, but I don't think that has anything to do with the service. <laughs> it might. No, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't. Sorry. It doesn't. That's you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> For people looking for extra savings this year, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data <coughs> delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep the same phone number along with all of your existing contacts. And if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their 7-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and to get that plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash h3. That's mintmobile.com slash h3. Cut your wireless bill to just $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash h3. Welcome back, everybody. You know, Deaf Noodles just put out a really interesting... Uh, it, again, this literally has no bearing at all on, on anything, but it is interesting, again, to just show how 
Scotty is misrepresenting the evidence. So, because he shows this clip of Seth, like, putting his ass in Jason's face as, like, evidence that, oh, look, he does it too. But, so, people dug it up. And apparently this is a prank that Jason was doing to a lot of people. And this was, like, a retaliation prank. So, mm. it's not like, but whatever. It doesn't even matter, honestly. It doesn't matter. Oh, I did want to read Seth's statement that he sent me. <laughs> Again, he was going to come on originally, but he, well, here, I'll just read his statement. He said, and of course he said he, this was meant for me to read on the air. Um, he said, hey, Ethan, I want you to know I dearly appreciate you covering my story. Unfortunately, I can no longer speak about this incident. I will still answer a couple of questions I know you might have. The audio clip. The audio clip and text that is surfacing the Internet is a manipulation to misrepresent my trauma and experiences. This audio further concludes I did not consent to those published videos. Right. I think he's referring, I actually don't know what he's referring to. To the audio bite that um, David plays where so, he says, like, I'm not, I'm more open minded now. I, he's, think. I think he's saying, yeah, he says, even in that clip, he says, I'm more open minded now, which I guess he's saying is evidence that he didn't consent to the previous two videos. That's what I understand. Right. From it, yeah. And then he says, my allegations about account accountability part two. That's what the claim that everyone's making about that he shared this nude photo of Aaron. Mm. It was he used it in this video, accountability part two. He said, in this day and age, it's unfortunate people are still using pornographic videos to get revenge. I have not promoted nudity, but only highlighted a peer confidently saying this slanderous derogatory term, the N word. Additionally, in my accountability two video, I reposted other public clips of my peers as a tool to show people what behaviors are not okay. So, he he claims he never show, shared the the nude photo. So, I don't know. I mean, he shared footage from. It. Yeah, I mean but, that's indisputable. Yeah, but like I do Just think it's important. I do think it's kind of important distinction of if he blurred or totally right. barred it, or if he shared the nude. You know what I mean? Like the uncensored footage. Again, though, it has nothing to do with the conversation at hand. I think that's important to, um, to say whenever we talk about it. So, um, yeah, that's the vlog squad's response. I was really shocked. You know, when the first thing I saw this video, it was getting a lot of support i guess just from the like the initial responses like support from the fans but i knew immediately when i saw it was like this is this is gonna it's be so really bad. bad yeah and I, and i immediately felt bad for seth because like after you know all the trauma he's been through like why are they trying to bury him and put him for and stomp on him like it's so easy to just and people the thing is people will admire you for just coming out and saying all right stop i shouldn't have done this you know, I've changed. We don't do stuff like that anymore. But, like, I don't know why it's so hard for them to take accountability for this. I'm assuming it has to do with the sensitive situation he's in with, like, Dispo and all this stuff. But I do feel like if he would just issue an apology, it wouldn't be such a big deal, necessarily. You know what I mean? That's all Seth ever wanted. Mm -hmm. But to send his homie out to try to, to take the heat, like, bro, this isn't even your place to and talk about. And possibly sue him. Like seriously, what are you gonna sue Seth for exactly? You keep saying he's li you didn't show any evidence he's lying, and you're threatening to sue him. Shut the fuck up, dude. You know David has such a clean image that he would never put a video like that out ever. That's, but this is David talking. That's the thing. Like if if you try to imagine the same video, but if da David said it, it would be so awful. Oh yeah. But this is representing what he wants to say, clearly. I'm speculating, but, but based on the fact that David sent him that clip yeah. with David narrating it is proof that he probably saw this video before it went live. Mm -hmm. Probably all of those guys saw this video unlisted yeah. and gave their feedback on it. And were like, yeah, this is the, this is the perfect response, you know. Nah. Should I feel bad for Scotty? I can't tell. Because he seems like an otherwise nice guy that people like. Mm -hmm. He just kind of missed the point and got thrown to the walls by David. Yeah. I agree with that. We're good people. It's like, why are you throwing yourself? We wouldn't do this. We're good people. Why are you throwing yourself in front of the cannonball for David?
<laughs> you weren't even there. This is, you didn't do anything, bro. So why are we? Why are we talking we? He got you, bro. He got you good. Disposable ain't just Not the name of an app. Thing. Um, since we're on the topic of David, fuck it. This is a David, another David Dobrik podcast, but hey, let's do it. Uh, I keep talking about this puzzle, and I'm sorry to go, keep talking about that. Fuck, I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm glad. I think this puzzle is disturbing. I don't like it. And I found these really interesting new developments. One, I think I talked about on a previous episode, but I'll mention it real fast because I don't think you saw it, Ela. Yeah. So this was posted on a subreddit when I was just seeing what people, how people were reacting to, to everything. And this was had one point. It was just a really a minor post, but I thought it was really interesting. He said, I won David Dobrik's 25-cent puzzle, but it's asking for my bank info. Is it safe or is it even worth the 25 cents? Which is really interesting because that means that 95% of the people buying this puzzle are not even going to redeem their prize because you have to put it in your fucking bank account and no, that's not worth the effort of getting 25 yeah. cents. Weird. And also most of them are kids and don't even have bank accounts. So that's part one of David Dobrik's not even giving out prizes for the most part. And then number two, which I just saw like last night or this morning, um, is this. Someone got this email saying there's only one month left to complete your puzzle. What kind of puzzle expires, let me ask? One that's based on a lottery? What kind of puzzle expires? Hey there, just wanted to let you know that until March 31st to assemble, you have until March 31st to assemble your puzzle and collect the winnings. Tens of thousands have already won, but the 100,000 is still out there. <laughs> no one got really? the 100,000. <laughs> really? You're able to control who wins? Somebody wins the 100,000? That's so interesting to me. It sounds like an unregulated fucking lottery. <laughs> when you can actually control who and when someone wins. After March 31st, you'll just have to wait for the next puzzle we do. So how do you know? How do you know <laughs> that somebody one. will win before March 31st? That's not fraud. Uh, <laughs> okay, what is it? I would call that uh, false advertising. Okay. Well, you got Jaw Rule defending you now, David. That's not a good sign. Dude, this is so fucked up. They control who and how – they control who and when that 100000 goes out. I mean this guy's made ten, probably $10 million fucking dollars on this I mean, puzzle. After the 31st – Why do you the, draw that conclusion? Because what are the odds – again, I'm speculating, so let me just say that since David's already ready to sue me. <laughs> Tens of thousands have already won. They say the 100,000 still out there. So how is it that there's 100,000 still out there? Because they're the, just yet, saying no one won it yet. Yet the puzzle expires on March 31st. Mm -hmm. So how can they control if somebody wins the grand prize before the puzzle expires? They don't. So, they're, so what, they're saying that there's a possibility that nobody wins $100,000? Yeah. Well, th I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're saying. I think that's what they're saying. Though. Well, so what? Nobody's fucking winning anything then. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's just getting 25 cents and they're not yeah. even redeeming because they have to connect their fucking bank account. Yeah. The whole thing is such a scheme, dude. <laughs> it's so outrageous, guys. Just buy a fucking lottery ticket. <laughs> At least that shit's regulated. I swear to God, it's regulated. And you don't have to waste your time putting together a fucking QR code. Do you understand? <laughs> uh, you're, putting, you're putting together a QR code. That's not even like a logical puzzle. Like, get a puzzle. You can't pretend like putting together a QR code is fun. I'm sorry. Here, I'm well, going to sell a puzzle of my, my bare asshole. I mean, that's pretty cool. But Better than a QR code. I don't care about the QR code puzzle. I think that's whatever. But Well, you're basically putting together this, a lottery ticket. Yeah, I doubt that it's being regulated. Of course it's not. What is this? This email is proof that it's not being regulated. You have to give out the prize, or they're controlling when it's won. After the th March 31st, you'll just have to wait for the next puzzle we do. Lastly, I can't wait to see who wins our $100,000. And also what, they've got like marketing? They've got like a marketing strategy based on the fact that nobody's won it yet? It sounds to me like, <laughs> I'm speculating again, that they control when somebody wins this prize. Mm -hmm. Right, Dan, do you agree? What's your take on I, it? I, I wake up. You don't want to no get. I, no. Come on, you know I'm making points here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. 
What? I mean, I, What's I the man, product? It's, it's okay. a sweepstakes. They, they didn't invent sweepstakes. Companies do this all the time. I agree. It's I agree. It's shady and definitely thanks, uh, shady. Sam. A sweet thanks. A sweepstake is a bullshit way to sell lottery tickets. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, but sweepstakes are also regulated. You're not that's allowed. That's what I'm saying, and, and this likely is too. And when you're saying it's not regulated, I don't necessarily. But agree. how is there a deadline? And so you're saying there's a chance they don't give away the grand prize. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I and that's, that's what I understand. Well, the, the well, I don't think the people who are buying this think that's possible. I, I was about to give as an example the um, how many of the these McDonald's, things has he sold? Uh, Nobody won a hundred thousand. <laughs> I mean, what are the fucking odds on this thing, dude? It's crazy. <laughs> well, the, uh, it's thirty the, bucks for this fucking QR code. The Go odds ahead. are the odds are all listed on their website in the in the rules of the contest. I, I looked into give it. Give me the question. what's the odds of winning the hundred thousand? Oh, I want to know. Right now. <laughs> but can you imagine like people? So now, you, now that said, just because they say all those, I mean it. it there's the famous example is the the McDonald's monopoly thing, which was all rigged and everything. That was a sweepstakes too. So I mean, just because it's regulated doesn't mean that it's not rigged. But we shouldn't say that it's rigged. We I'm not saying it's rigged. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. We don't know anything. I'm about not saying this. shit, but I don't know nothing about nobody. Hey, I'm like that. I'm like that. Hey, I don't know nothing about nobody. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about nobody. I'm just saying, you think that all the fans buying this fucking puzzle know that there's a chance, a good chance at this point, because March 31st is coming close, and he, he's sold more of these puzzles than he's not. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably sold 90% of the puzzles he's going to sell yeah. before that date hits. I, and nobody's fucking won that money. I'm sure <laughs> no, because they, people they are probably... <laughs> what I understand from it is that people bought it, but they didn't complete... Oh, please. People fucking voracious... Wait, who's going to sit on the puzzle? You think they're not putting it together? Yeah. I mean, who wants to build a fucking puzzle? You can't puzzle? keep yeah. getting away with it! It says one in a hundred thousand, according to the game. There you go. Yeah. One in a hundred thousand. It sells... Okay, okay, bro. Bro, 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 bro. So you have to sell a hundred thousand puzzles at $30 it's actually a piece. actually one in 100,151 is the exact... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round down. 100,000 times 30. So for every... Three million dollars he makes, he should be giving away a hundred thousand dollars. Knowledge. Apparently, nobody's won, which is pretty incredible. I'm a little skeptical of that. I just want my twenty-five cents, though. I just want a way to redeem my Dude, twenty-five cents. <laughs> it actually says in the rules: total uh, ARV of all. I don't know what ARV stands for. ARV of all prizes to be awarded is 251,125. So a quarter million in prizes available. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. According to the number posted on the game's rules page, only 651 out of 100,000, 0.007% of the prizes available would actually allow you to gain money by participating. So that means you won more than... Wait. Yeah, that because, means you won more than 30 bucks. Yeah, if you win 25 cents, you, you spent 30 bucks on the puzzle. You, you didn't... You lost money. So only 650 out of 100,000 people will actually get more than $30. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lottery, like, for sure. It's a shitty lottery. Like, I think lotteries even have better odds than this. I don't know. Like, like, you should, like a lot of times if you spend five bucks on a lottery, you'll get that five bucks back like oh, a quarter guess, of the time. Right, it, not in the sense of getting the This one, yeah. you're at 0.007% of making I mean, your money back. there is a chance that <laughs> these people are just buying it for the minimum of it. And I to think, support yeah, their favorite sure. content it's a creator. QR code puzzle. Yeah, you know? sure. So maybe it's just... But it's marketed at the $100,000 puzzle. I mean, I think people are not... David is known for giving shit away. He's the guy that gives shit away. He, his launch uh -huh. video, which... I, if someone pull up the launch video where he says, Hey, guys, I'm trying to figure out how to give you guys money. People was asking for your money, so now I figured it out. Like, the whole marketing campaign around this puzzle is him trying to give away money. Right. Give me that video. Fill that bag up right now. <laughs> Watch this video and then try uh, to tell me that. I mean... Is that is, all right? Somebody get in the video. Yeah, somebody's on it. Maybe <laughs> you seem pretty calm back there. I mean, I'm not supposed to be pulling up the videos, but I'm still looking. <laughs> I don't see your hands on the keyboard. I see you I'm look like very I'm casual, watching, dude. I'm watching a TikTok on if this is the one you're talking about. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let me look. David Dobrik. Maybe we don't need the 100. No, it's good. Another puzzle. <laughs> 
It was like God. a Twitter video. Ian found it. Ian legend. Legend. <laughs> legend shit, bro. All right, you can kill the music. <laughs> One of the most common yeah, comments I see is you guys asking me for money. So I finally figured out a way to get all of you guys money. I sound like a scam, but this isn't a scam. Listen, I made this puzzle. It's called the $100,000 puzzle by David Dobrik. That's me. <laughs> so this is how it works. You get the puzzle. You start building it. It takes a while. So you got to put it together. Like, it takes, like, yeah. yeah. Time, so I'm assuming a lot of people bought it just for the meme and they account. never even put it together. Yeah, who wants to build a fucking puzzle? So that's Jesus. why, you know. Bro, it... I understand it's a puzzle, but he listen. He says it's not as he goes. I'm trying to give everybody money. It's not a scam. Trust me. Yeah, I know. I'm just. I'm just saying. Scam. I'm, I'm not. Just I'm saying just saying the that... whole vibe. The whole marketing thing is hundred thousand dollar puzzle. I know it's a puzzle. No, I'm just saying that. Am I, am I too harsh on this? It might it's be. Just, it might cares? be that people don't necessarily not see it as a big lottery ticket. They're just buying it as merch, as a meme. It's a QR puzzle mm -hmm. from David. You know? No wake up. Long, like, it, takes, really long it takes a long time. You don't even have a cheat sheet to do it. And then when you're done, you take your camera on your phone, just like that, and then you scan it because it's a QR code. And look, now it'll load your prize, and you're going to 100% win. Anywhere from 25 cents to $100,000. And I won... 25 cents. You win. Now put in your you bank win. info to redeem. Don't win a lot, mm -hmm. But this is it. It's fucking sick. Yeah. I'm going to leave this link to my bio. Go get one for yourself. Go get one for a friend for Christmas, whatever. And do me a favor. Record your reaction because you're going to win anywhere from 25 cents to $100,000. So, yeah. All right. Good luck. I'll see you. Yeah. I mean, if. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. I care. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I think a lot of people want it for TikToks as well because all the TikTok videos they have the puzzle and it usually do well. They do. They're buying that clout. clout. Oh, you mean that the clout? TikTok does well? Got it. If no, somebody gotcha. makes a TikTok, TikTok like, is our home. Right. <laughs> mm. Oh, do you have the the crazy mail ad I got? Can you grab that? I gotta go get it. So I got in the mail. You know, junk mail. I'm fuck. I'm so fucking over junk mail. You know. But I got this junk mail that I, it's like someone stepped their shit up to a level I have never seen before. It blow me away, totally. And um, I have to share it with you guys. Um, I think you're going to be blown away by this. I'm not even quite sure what they're trying to sell me. I think it was a car ad or something. Um, here's Ela. So it arrived in this envelope. Oh, my God, man. It arrived in this envelope here, and I was like, sure you don't oh. show address. Right. Well, people know where we live. <laughs> well, don't show address. <laughs> yeah. So it arrived in this envelope. I was like, what is this? It looked like an uh, instruction pamphlet or something. I don't know. And then it's this. Okay. You, it's this. I don't know what this is. What does it say? It says Bernoulli, Bernoulli Lock. Okay. You guys ready for matter, this? doesn't matter. You guys yeah. ready for this? <laughs> Whoa. What? <laughs> the sky revealing the heavens after a long dusty day. It sounds like McConnell. Yeah, I was about to ask, is that McConnell? There's a charging port on the top. Connection. Confronted by challenges. Let's get some howdies going down. I think it is McConaughey. It sounds like him. No way. That's how you know you made it in life. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, these guys know I'm like, I made a money or something. This is like a $20 like ad. I mean, how much? Money? It's so, a full color screen. There's a, there's, <laughs> there's a char and a speaker. There's a whole charging work? port here. There's a charging <laughs> port here. Just in case I want to watch it again in the future. Yeah. I wanted to tear it open and see what's inside, but I wanted to wait to do um, it on screen, on air. How does that work? So like, every time what, you open it, it starts over. What do they send me? The sky. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. What? <laughs> it's just an exposed circuit part. Whoa. It's probably a little uh, raspberry pie. Is this a, um, uh, is this uh, dangerous? Is this can I? Can I hurt myself? You should lick it. Because if I hurt myself, I feel like I could sue. <laughs> I feel like this is a poorly. How? Okay, stop. I doubt it. It doesn't have enough. Oh, I, I can even turn the sound down. <laughs> Look, there's some, oh, and I can skip forward. There's more ads. Yeah, I think it's a little. Uh, I can fast. I can fast it's like forward. A little, uh, computer in there with some software. What down. is this? Isn't this insane? 
We're living in the future, man. Reminds me of Blue's Clues. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, there's like a whole circuit board. Is there anything we can salvage in here for the show, Dan? <laughs> uh, maybe. Don't touch it. It seems Scrap dangerous. Scrap it. Lick that shit. No! 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 <laughs> so that's that. That's pretty... I thought that was amazing. I was shocked. So shout out to uh, their families. All of their families. So I don't... <laughs> yeah. We could just watch the whole thing, I mean. <laughs> uh, so God, I, don't, I don't really want to talk about anything else, to be honest with you guys, because I, I don't want the message of the first part to get lost in the sauce. Should we keep... I guess we could keep that. Okay. <laughs> that was my plan, but who gives a fuck? Okay, stop booing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep going. Some goofs. Let's fucking goof off. It's Friday, baby. Okay. Right. So, all right, fuck it. Let's go, baby. Thank you, Dan. Uh, <laughs> so we've got, I've got a couple of meme holes we can fall into. Mm, interesting. You, do you prefer, what is your favorite crazy Christian video or weird suit soaking? I don't want to do the suit soaking. The suit soaking Not today. so epic, though. I don't want to do suit soaking. What is that? It's like this. It's the weirdest fetish we've found yet. Mm. And it's disturbing. I don't. It's not really disturbing. It's less disturbing than the cream head crying okay. lady. Yeah, because the cream head was too much for me. <laughs> it's less disturbing <laughs> than that, but it's it's super fucking weird. Someone says, "You think the car dealership sold our info?" It was. It, I'll be no. That's not it. <laughs> There's a reason why I know that, but uh, I can't say. It may be a federal crime. I may have committed a federal crime. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it wasn't addressed to me. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh. Now you're living. Call the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mistake. I apologize to the feds. Oh, I didn't up. realize until after I opened it. <laughs> Please don't lock me up. Please. Bad boy, bad boy. Let's, what do, you let's do? do crazy Christian videos. Okay. It's not like, it's just weird conspiracy theory kind of meme whole shit. And they're all on TikTok, of course. Your favorite hey, crazy hey, Christian video. Bro, why is TikTok? We're talking TikTok every time, man. To your favorite. Wait, I think right. it's our speakers. Yeah, man. hold on. But it, it seems like it's always when we open TikTok that starts happening. That doesn't make sense, though. <laughs> to your fa favorite <laughs> crazy. Go ahead and hit the music. See, I knew I should have ended the show. No. <laughs> hit him with the 60 minute really clock. Dan is unplugging the cable. He is fidgeting and futzing. Try now. Try now, he says. Christian video. It works. All right, we're good. Kill it. Kill the music. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys want to see something I've been working on? What you working on? Uh, Dan, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> fucking static electricity in here is so. Get some. Get up. a rubber mat or something. Ringo Starr. Um, peace okay. and love. You guys, can I? Can I reveal my peace and love? Right. You're gonna debut it right now? Well, Let's it's a work. Go. It's a work yeah. in so progress. It's a whip. Yeah. Peace and love. Because I'm, peace I'm working and love. on a TikTok where I dress up as Ringo and voice this perfectly. So I want to show you guys what I'm working with. I think I'm making really good progress. <laughs> it's hard to hit like the, all the inflections and the pauses perfectly, but let me show you guys what I've got. Wait, wait, wait. real quick. I'm gonna adjust the. I want you to be side by side with him, so just give me one second. Okay, mm, great. You can thank do you, that. Thank you, thank you. So I've been trying to learn the peace and love um, perfectly for the enjoyment of all. Yeah, I do think Ethan needs like maybe another week of it's training. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fully baked yet. <laughs> all right, I've got you in a big box. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Okay, here we go. This, this is, is a serious, serious message, message to everybody watching the update, update right, right now. now. Peace and love, peace and love. I want to tell you that please, after the 20th of October, do not send fan mail to any address that you have. <laughs> Nothing will be signed after the 20th of October. If that's got a signature on the envelope, it's going to be tossed. <laughs> I'm warning you with peace and love. I have too much to do. No more. Um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and no objects to be signed. Nothing. Uh, anyway, thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love. 
Thank you. <laughs> Still needs a little work, but yeah, but yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Well, yeah. Ela, how am I supposed to get better when Ela yells at me every time I practice? So okay, yeah, Ethan will play also super loud, and you it's do. Not. It. I play it as low as I can. No, you don't. You don't hear yourself, okay. and you yourself play <laughs> super loud. This is a serious yeah, message to like everybody <laughs> watching my update now. And also, he does it at midnight. When I'm a little tired. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> Where's the peace and love? Okay, so with peace and love, maybe. This is a warning I'm with warning peace, you and with love. peace and love. Mm. Okay, let's watch the crazy Christian. <laughs> anyway, I thought you guys <laughs> might enjoy that for now. And I yeah, said that, that was very cool. You know what? I had this thing going back a year ago with me talking about semen and and then oh, and oh, I heard semen. To your favorite, favorite crazy Christian video. The strange thing that milk comes from the mammary glands and then etc, etc, et And I said there's semen because you know what? They had this thing going back a year ago with me talking about semen and, 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 and Starbucks lattes. And they do put it in there. Semen, Many God. people slammed me and said I should get Wait, off of it. And one guy wrote me and told me he wasn't going to send me any more offers <laughs> until I stopped talking about semen, uh, semen uh, in Starbucks. It's I told keep it talking about it. Uh, but at any rate, the... Uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. <laughs> it's something that's produced by Bro, the, the testicle glands of a man. What? People tend to like milk that's produced by the mammary glands of Milk's a woman. meant to be drank. Starbucks has figured out this is that why people is tend it, to like... Why is it that people are... It's normal to drink milk, but I can't drink semen. So uh, is he proposing is, that people is drink semen? Kind of well, it's a flip. He, I don't know what he's trying to say, but it sounds like he's trying to rationalize some weird behavior he's got. Wait, listen. <laughs> I had Zach clip this because this is just my favorite part. Play it again, Zach. Uh, semen is is another kind of milk. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good point. Well, you know, semen's not really meant to be consumed, so. <laughs> I mean, you can consume it with peace and love. <laughs> But milk is actually meant to be consumed by babies. Why is it that I can't drink buckets of semen? Why is that weird? Uh, semen is, semen? is another kind of semen. Milk. Another kind of milk. My fans keep saying, "Stop talking about semen." But you said this is like a Christian video segment. Well, I'm. He's yeah, he's a pastor. Oh yeah. I, I could. What Wait. else? Wait. Yeah. Talking about how somebody said they were going to stop. Somebody said they were going to stop tithing at his church because he won't stop talking about this. And he's like, well, <laughs> well he said, you got to listen to him carefully. He says, go ahead, stop tithing. I don't care. Oh, my God. He's yeah, name backing down. Produced by the testicle glands of a man. He keeps going. It's, it's like, what does this have to do with God? milk and semen together. Makes, well, some people are not. To your favorite. <laughs> that is a good one. Man. That's a really That's good one. That's really good. Shout out to his family for sure. <laughs> What's with semen? <laughs> semen is just another milk. It's your favorite crazy Christian Jim video. That's awesome. I'll go for She's not a Christian. <laughs> Get out. I remember. She's tampering in downside and stuff. I think it's from like switching. Gargoyles. Psychics. Everything's ungodly. Dark side. Get the out of my house in Jesus' name I pray. Her kids don't go to church or believe in God. And I've been saying I am a spiritual warrior because I feel like I'm a spiritual warrior. Like I've had to put armor on just to walk out that house. Dude, <laughs> Jesus. Boy, spiritual warrior. Stay in my house. If you're dark sided, I don't want to dark see any sided. witches. I don't want to see any. I love the cameraman are just eating this up. Yeah. See Oh, at no point they're like, should we get out? <laughs> I rebuke it in the name of the Lord. Did you ask her? Did she believe in God? Not God. It's your favorite crazy Christian video. Oh, man. I feel bad for her. She's having a bad time there. You gotta love it, though. It looks I, like a TLC or something. Definitely. I think it was from Spouses. Yeah. Is that what it's okay. called? Dude, that was the craziest episode. So they would change spouse like switch spouses for like a certain period of time just to like see what it's mm. like and somebody got stuck with this lady <laughs> <laughs> they're like whoa not fair <laughs> i rebuke you demons i always wondered they didn't fuck in that show did they i don't think that would be because <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. i was like well what's the point of changing spouses 
Well, they would act as... It, just it was to always, be like, you see, he does the dishes. And they, they always had family, so know, it was more about like it. the family dynamic of like, they would be there. Did they sleep sur- in the same bed? I don't think so. They didn't cover That'd that aspect, weird. but I found that the most interesting aspect. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, Yoko. <laughs> Yoko's interest, wow. Well, mm. Your spouses. We just watched the Mormon documentary. Mm. Really good. It was called Murder Among Mormons on Netflix. Really good. What, a, mm-hmm. what was, what's it about? I haven't even heard it's of it. It's like there was in Salt Lake City, there was this time when people were collecting all these ancient Mormon, well, ancient, it was like 150 years, artifacts. And then uh, the people who were close to this whole ring started getting blown up, like bombed and murdered. And there's a whole really crazy story that unfolds from it with like, the church and all these crazy people. It's really interesting. Good. Yeah. Really good. Four parts on Netflix. Huh. Three. Do your Three. research. <laughs> Scotty was worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> Defamatory <laughs> statements. All right, let's continue. What's your favorite crazy what? Christian this? video? video i have no idea i'll go first and we were outside one day youth group and uh, he was just just trying to push my buttons and he was just you know kind of not taking the lord serious and i walked over to him and i went i punched him in the chest as hard as i I crumpled the kid the kid i just crumpled (laughs) him and i said i leaned over i said ben when are you going to stop playing games with god (laughs) <laughs> I let oh that man God. be the Lord right there. There's times that that might be needed. Sorry? What's your favorite crazy Sorry. Christian Did video? Did you just admit to punching a child in the chest as hard as... I crumpled that <laughs> crumpled kid. That. All proudly Fuck. to the congregation. <laughs> dude, I laid that fucking kid out, I dude. laid that fucking kid out. <laughs> Isn't that God's job? Like, why do the... You better... You be, if you don't fear God, you'll fear me, boy. <laughs> God, it's so crazy. I gotta watch that again. I love how he just, what are we gonna do? he's so proud of himself. Oh, what are we gonna do? I'll go first. And we were outside one day, youth group. You can get and, away with uh, he anything. Was just, the, just trying to push my buttons. And he was just, you know, God. kind of not Jesus taking the Lord serious. Lord. And I walked you know over what I did? to him and I went, bam. Damn. I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. He said he punched a child as hard as he could. <laughs> Proudly. Nice. <laughs> we brought him to God. And yeah, by he, that he means he, he yeah, the he kid di- died. He died that day. <laughs> yeah, he didn't died. fuck around anymore. He sent him to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. That was great. Quit playing games with God. <laughs> There's a lot of these. Jesus Christ! <laughs> What's your favorite crazy... Cr- Easy. Are Christian these from video. different people or the same? Oh, this is a TikTok person? meme where I think this guy started the okay. trend and then everybody like yeah, stitches like, it. Yeah, okay. tagging on to him. Yeah, so this guy. Th- this happens on TikTok all the time. There's like this cr- There's people that go like mega viral for some stupid clip mm-hmm. they made. Like there's this girl. What's your favorite celebrity interview moment? Of, mm-hmm. Like this small account, nobody girl, <laughs> who's now been seen like a trillion times on TikTok. What's your cele- My whole feed is, what's your favorite celebrity interview moment? <laughs> What's some of the other ones, AB? There's another one that's super popular. Oh, what are celebrity? What is a celebrity that people tell you look like? Right. Oh, that's one of them. I see that what, a lot. This is the one. What's your favorite celebrity interview moment? I'll go first. <laughs> I hate when they say "I'll go first, like they're trying so hard to make a trend. I'll go first. But I hate that. <laughs> My favorite. God, you're my savior! 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 Oh, they're landing. God, you're my savior! Girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl, you know it's girl. What the fuck? What is going on? Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why Millie made it in there at the end. <laughs> what was the thing with them? They What's never actually favorite? sang. Crazy. I know they're like, right. Right. They never <laughs> actually sang. God Which, bless them. It's so funny. They, That's funny. They, they were like huge artists and they lost their whole career because they were, you know, so called exposed for essentially having ghostwriters and, and uh, people make their music in the studio. The truth is, that's like half of hold the on, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They didn't sing. Right. You're right. Well, that's that's not what happens. People sing their songs. Mm, I think Somebody else sang more. their songs. Right. I guess that's true. 
That's fu- that is. I doubt they're the only oh, they time. They were that exposed that's for it. Yeah, because yeah. they won like all these awards and they were like this huge thing. They didn't. Yeah, they, they, they never like, sang. They won Grammys. Someone else did. Yeah, they, they, they didn't yeah. sing the oh. fucking song. Right? No, that's weird. Yeah, <laughs> that's weird, Dan. Come on. It was two. Uh, I think it was two German guys that was <laughs> behind it all. Yeah. Milli <laughs> Vanilli. That, they just straight up didn't even, they didn't, couldn't, they didn't sing. It was someone else's voice. Yeah, they just like perform. <laughs> they are like lip syncers and they oh, would dance they, and perform, but it like wasn't actually them. I mean, it's a good idea. Yeah. It didn't work though. I, 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 something tells me that happens more than we know. I don't, that's really? pretty extraordinary, yeah. Dan. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm going to push back on that one. <laughs> Damn Christian <the> video. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Why are you doing that? Oh, smashing people with pillows? Oh, In Jesus' name. I smite thee. Oh, it's just a pit. It's just a towel. I seen one where he, they put a lightsaber in his hand. <laughs> Can somebody... What, what the, is this okay, mess that we're watching? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Excuse me. There's what somebody talking, watching? there's music blasting, <laughs> the video's tiny. What is going on here? <laughs> Could somebody find the video where he has a lightsaber? Oh, yeah. What are we going <laughs> to do? Right, I think we've seen that. Yeah. Cool. What are we going to do? What does the text even say? Six tubby tubby, then walked off like a gi? What? <laughs> <laughs> Six tubby tubby, then walked off like a gi. <laughs> What's your favorite crap? Uh, I don't even know what to say about that one. <laughs> oh, we got the uh, lightsaber one here. In the chat. Somebody in the chat saying, Dan's right. About? Br- Britney doesn't sing a lot of her songs on no Britney way. Jean. That's not proven, though. That's yeah, not proven. That's but that's what I'm saying. They just got, after the Millie Vanilli incident, Wait, they got who, smarter about it. Who are we talking about? I'm assuming Britney Spears. What? Britney doesn't sing This is sing just some random fucking comment in the chat. That could be wrong. I'm just She's saying. A, Sorry, no that's way. a huge scandal. Yeah. How dare you? Free Britney. <laughs> How dare you? A lot of very big artists, are, like, they don't sing every song on in the concert because they need to catch their breath and whatnot. So some that's of them... That's different, though, than having someone else than, sing. Yeah. On this, yeah. That's the, the Millie Vanilli wasn't even on the studio version was the thing. But again, oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. How dare you bring Britney? Britney. Not be surprised. How People there saying it's proven. You. People saying What's it's proven. proven. Proven? No, it's the, not. What I just said about Britney. Show me the proof. Britney Show me the proof. I, Show just... me the proof. Free Britney. <laughs> How dare you? Leave Britney alone. <laughs> I, to defend Dan, to defend Dan, maybe live. She has been caught lip singing live. Well, lip, that's everybody lip sings live. That's, that's not exactly. what we're talking so that's about. What, that's that is Dan's not what we're from. talking about. We're talking about someone else completely singing their song. Everybody lip well, sings no, live. Like, no, they, I mean, no. With the I mean exception of auto tune, which everyone does. No, it's Britney. Okay, that's it's what Britney, we're talking bitch. about. Dare you? It's Britney, bitch. No. <laughs> wow. Oh, there's why is there, wow, there's like a crazy up. reverb on that? What was that? <laughs> Zach? Oh. Whoa. Oh, I gotta mute it because I don't want to get George. George Lucas has enough money; he doesn't need the, the <laughs> revenue on this. So. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like literally doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any different. Heal de- this guy's having so much fun up there. Heal demons. I command thee. This is better than the sequel movies. <laughs> Cool. By the way, some of these people are old and they're just piling on each other. Yeah. Oh no, like, he's a Sith Lord. They're like oh. free falling on their back. <laughs> Not a Sith Lord. I kn- yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> what then? You got Britney shit? What's well, your fa- favorite? Some, they're saying, even saying the name. Her name is Maya Marie. Look into oh, it. Okay. Who's this Maya Marie? What? Leave her alone! Exactly. <laughs> How dare you. Crazy Christian video. I got you. Now this is a physical illustration to show you. When Cody puts on the word of God, it literally is a protective barrier around his mind. Ready? Oh, I'm nervous! Oh! 
with the helmet of salvation and Let's thinking on things that are heavenly. That and this thing? is what the you Bible says. <laughs> Set your mind or your affections on things above. Why are you throwing so eggs at your homie? And look, nothing can penetrate Cody's mind. I love that they're like, you, a good Christian's mind should be unpenetrable. <laughs> By eggs. Well, he's wearing a helmet. Right, exactly. That's what God uh, is like. Semen mm. is, is another kind of milk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. My favorite one's not here yet. The atheist What's your nightmare. favorite crazy Chris Christian video? <laughs> But he's just laying down. He's passed out. What's your favorite crazy Christian? There was video? not even a conscious being in front of him. Why is he jumping so funny? Bro, this is a wild thing. When you see someone like passed out. Shut up and listen to God's word, you fucking fool. God damn you. What is this? Is this real? I feel like this has to be fake. Oh shit. Alrighty. What's your favorite crazy Christian video? Gong, 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 gong. Why don't you just run over to your neighbor? I want you to find a drinking buddy. I want you to reach over. Well, what? And I, I want you just to find their vein. What? <laughs> you guys done and this Just before. find their vein. And I just want you to shoot them up. What Jesus the on the line. <laughs> And now share the favor. God is dumping out the glory shibby booby juice. Noin, noin, noin. Just started toking the ghost. What is oh, this? Jehovah wanna. <laughs> Toke the ghost, baby. Pass that to you there, sir. Pass no, this guy's fucking around. This can't be real. Which this favorite? cannot be real. I refuse it. Could have been a stand-up act, yeah, maybe? Yeah, Nobody was laughing, though, me. so... I think we're getting played here. Seems yep. like stand-up. Um, Come on. Come my on. favorite crazy uh, interview, celebrity interview moment... That's, I mean... That's not what that's we're not the trend we're doing. The atheist <laughs> nightmare. I mean, I, this is such a classic book, man. These guys are such fucking idiots. Atheist's nightmare. You've seen this, now, right, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Behold the atheist's Behold. nightmare. Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side... There are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side there are three grooves. On the close side, two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly made one for the other. <laughs> you'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. It has oh. outward indicators of inward contents. Oh. Green, too early. Yellow, Look just right. Black, too late. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top, so God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, mm -hmm. the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find the wrapper, like which semen. is biodegradable, <laughs> has perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. Gracefully. Notice how God is so thoughtful with his ergonomic design. just the right shape for the human mouth. <laughs> it's chewy, easy to digest, and it's even curved toward the face to make the whole process so much easier. Oh, yeah. Seriously, Kurt, the whole of creation testifies to the genius of God's creative heart. Oh, it absolutely does. The atheist nightmare. <laughs> well, so if the banana is so perfect, are we meant just to eat bananas? Like, well, what about every fucking food then, by how logic? About, I mean, did any, nobody point it out to him that bananas are, uh, are like a domesticated... Like, we created bananas. Yeah, right, they don't right. exist naturally. Well, like pretty let me much, tell you about bananas. Well, he, well, Any well, other fruit would have been a better example. Well, hold on. He created us, so we domesticated it. But that's very funny that, yeah, we... we of all of the things he could have chosen, yeah, that, was, the worst <laughs> that was like one of the worst ones he could have picked. Yeah, because it's domesticated. But it's I, a nightmare. It's the atheist nightmare. You cannot refute Checkmate. this. I heard one of these guys say, well, it fits perfectly in your butt, too. Does that mean that God designed <laughs> it to do that? Yeah. You know? Something is about to bust. It fits perfectly over your hands. The God's ergonomic design slides perfectly in your mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Something is about to bust.
Anything else you guys want to talk about while we're here? Suits mm. <laughs> No, I don't know if I'm ready for suits soaking in the same episode as... The chat has been <laughs> spamming for the last like 15 minutes. Talk to horse guy. I, I have no Who's idea what you guy? guys... I what don't are you know. guys talking about? <laughs> when you guys spam stuff like that, you like if you don't give context, it's not helpful. <laughs> Talk to horse guy. Are they talking about the old age 3 video guy? I have no fucking clue. Does it we haven't even talked about horses today. Like what... <laughs> just what is height, no bucket required? Just talk, just is that talk guy to not in jail? <laughs> <laughs> no bucket required. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all. I don't. I don't think we should do the suit soaking and the same. Uh, right. uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna save that one. All right. But if yeah. there's, is there any interesting comments or donations or anything you guys want to talk about before we say ta-ta? Can we just do Sir a Ian? small update on? Um, you actually sent this. This was your suggestion, Ethan. So. We just... Oh, I sent the wrong thing. Hold on. Why did you just send me giant jaw guy, Dan? <laughs> because that's... The that's people are saying idea. that there's a... Uh, people... people go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, people oh, are saying there's a horse breeder on Discord that wants to talk. A horse breeder? A horse breeder. breeder. Oh, does he have... Okay, I will have a about? question about a horse team. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is my homie, my jaw guy, that everyone was laughing about. Now he's become a meme. I saw him on Twitter. People posted this before and after. and like, what the fuck is this? This is my homie that I'm just fascinated by this guy's jaw routine and everyone's clowning on me. Look at that guy. He's turning nice. into a fucking... I mean, he doesn't look real. This is no, unreal. Stop the you. training. <laughs> I love you. Stop the training. Don't stop, bro. Just keep going. <laughs> take it all the way. I say take it all the way no, until your face is literally just... <laughs> just jaw. <laughs> it's just, it's just going to be like, I it's don't know. It's going to be a square. It's going to be a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's check in with our dog. What's he, what's he been Hold on. I can't listen to your music, bro. One, two, let's hit those jaws. Dude, if I saw that guy, I would like do a double take. Not because he's handsome, but I'd be like, what the fuck did I just see? But sometimes it doesn't look that weird, you know? Hmm. Well, I guess... In the earlier videos, videos, I think... In the beautiful world. I don't know God. what's going on. He's... Yeah, okay. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> that was it? That was all you wanted me to talk about? Is Jaw Guy? Uh... There's a bunch of good stuff in here. It's just a shame. Oh, but there I mean, it is. I guess we can save it for... <laughs> what did you mean, A.B. Scotty at 235? Uh, 2.35 on Wicked Feet. Oh. oh. Last little update for poor Scotty. Poor Scotty. We love Scott. I mean, he's... Was, mm -hmm. oh, we love him. I mean, he was once loved. He was once loved. He once had a great score in Wicked Feet. He threw it all the way. He threw it all the way. He did an oopsie. You're very special. <laughs> Can we jam out to Ela's song? No, no, we're not ready. What about, um, I saw you guys mentioned the R. Kelly Passport song. Oh, that's a good way to sign off. You know, it's been a while since we've watched the R. Kelly, Do You Have Your Passport, Do You Have Your Shots? And we're thinking, that's just ridiculous that, you know, this has somehow become old news. Yeah. R. Kelly, Do You... So I thought maybe... Also, everybody's spamming bad baby in the chat. Oh, yeah, you're not, so... You're not, you're not cluing us into anything. We're aware. Oh, well, I might as well just explain what happened. Yeah. Um, well, she tweeted, she subtweeted me and followed me, <coughs> saying that she had a story about David, and I'll show the... Here, somebody link me the tweet. Sure. <coughs> and um, I followed her and said, hey, what happened? And she didn't respond, so I don't know. And she's tweeted since then, too, so she clearly saw my message so kind of confused about uh why she tweeted at me or is she just trying to be funny i don't know she said i got my own story about those two creepy fucks and he owes me money <laughs> this girl's such a character you know we were talking about her she was 12 when she was on dr phil and when she collaborated with them she was like 13 or something right that is 14? crazy yes yeah, we found there was a deleted <laughs> vlog with her um that we found where it's just basically Jason bantering with her and like I wouldn't say creepy, but just it's just a like it's a thirteen year old and yeah. it's like a forty five year old well, man like super, doing bants. It's yeah. just very weird. 
I understand why they delete it. It's like pretty cringe. Mm -hmm. I remember, I don't know if this is public or if David, uh, but uh, I don't remember where I heard this, but he like paid her a bunch of money to do it. And then, but she says they owe her money. I don't know. I don't know. But she never responded. Trust me, I wanted to fucking know too. You know? I'm dying to know. Is that David Lieber? Yeah, I was, what, just, I was like, what is this giant tea sip? I love this. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay, nobody knows who David Lee Bahart is. We do need that cop, so, though. Da who knows? Da nobody knows David Lee Bahart. <laughs> Get what? out of here. He's a legend. Okay, so R. Kelly went to, by the way, not to draw extreme parallels, but there's plenty of R. Kelly girls who didn't leave R. Kelly immediately so you wouldn't ever say to them i mean different situations but you never say to them why didn't you leave sooner why didn't you go to the police sooner why didn't you this why didn't you that here's our well, people do say that it's just right he wouldn't say that to them but people do say that to them you're right say people that. say that been saying that for basically yeah. ever yeah here's our kelly in ethiopia recruiting sex slaves basically on stage i got it i got it i got it you have your passport. Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob? With Rob. To America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob? To America. 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 Yeah. The beautiful. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Nothing more romantic than that. Did you get your shots, girl? America. America. Damn, sing it, boy. <laughs> I'm ready to get my shots and hop I on a plane it. with him. It's, it's probably the best song ever. Dude, straight up, dude, he took grooming to levels nobody. <laughs> he's straight up grooming people on stage during a show. That is next fucking level. <laughs> There's no deception in this. He says, girl, you cannot, you need your shots. This is Ethiopia. You need your shots and you need your fucking passport. If you're coming to an R. Kelly show, bring your passport already with and you. Bring your vaccination We're living. <laughs> Come vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. This is like the greatest fucking video on the internet. Straight up. Period. <laughs> it's so romantic. I got it. I, I got, got it. it. <laughs> Do you have Someone's like, hey, R. Kelly, give that, talk about the... We need some road back. <laughs> One of us always, I got this. They have a whole beat for grooming. Yeah. Like a whole really beautiful beat about how... Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? This somehow, this somehow like didn't make it to an album, though. With Rob to to America. America. I love that look. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. America. America. Oh. 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 Do you have your <laughs> Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? Yeah, we love Rob. Oh. America. R. Kelly's the oh. shit, bro. Hey, Yoko Ono, you want to go back with Rob? <laughs> War is hard. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a lot more than I asked for, but thank you. Uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. <laughs> all right, let's end off with Joel. Let's see what Joel has to say about every, all the topics of today. You want an affirmation, an inspiration, or a sermon? I want to be inspired. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let me... Let me... <laughs> Worry will keep you from rising high. I can't get Believing over how good the speaker will keep is. You from really? pursuing dreams. Going around offended, bitter, will keep you from new opportunities. Yeah. Well, Joel, these people hurt me. They did me wrong. That's why I'm bitter. That's why I'm upset. That happened 27 years ago. Mm. Why are you still holding on to it? Mm. Why are you still sour over the person that walked away? Mm. Still upset over how you were raised. Mm. Still bitter over that company that let you go. Don't be a hoarder. 
Don't let that poison your future. They hurt you once. Don't let them continue to hurt you by holding on to it. Recognize that. Joel Austin's basically saying, get over it. Victim shaming. <laughs> Joel Austin's saying, get over it, loser. Get over your shit, dumb dumb. Don't hold on to it. Don't be a loser. God hates losers. Let it Stop go, it. you fucking pathetic loser. Speared to death. Have you guys if seen? If you can't let your trauma go, you're a loser, and God hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what, Dan? Oh, this is uh, this is unrelated. But uh, have you seen? Everybody's upset that the new uh, the new Space Jam. Oh, is it out? No, but uh, like I guess there's a trailer for it or something, and they they made the they made the girl bunny oh, less sexy. Oh, she's not hot anymore. She's not hot anymore, dude. Well, let me let me see. Let really? me let me be the judge of that. Okay. Because maybe I'll still smash. So people are upset ah, about what that they changed it. Yeah. They changed it from sexy to strong. I remember reading. Mm -hmm. That okay. old bunny was fucking slamming though. <laughs> <laughs> Show me those before and afters. Let's get to the bottom of this. You guys got it? When are you guys getting me the give me the good stuff? That Lola bunny porn. I got a really good one. I know someone who's upset about it. Let me find it. Hold on. It right oh, was it the quartering by chance? <laughs> Uh, probably. No, not the quarter <laughs> room, but it's probably... Oh, Jay Station? Oh, Jay Station. <laughs> Station's got something to say about this? <laughs> Jay Station coming out with some really uh, strong takes here. Clown World. No new normal. I'm down to move to China now. Okay, well, bro, just because <laughs> they changed her cartoon. God, God. Why? She's pretty cute still. Wait, what? That, there's no problem well, here. Well, she was like a sexy, like, icon. Look, like, the midriff like, not showing. She was like <laughs> a Roger Rabbit hot, you know what I mean? Like, fuck yeah. I would like, take, I would like, fucking, mm, I would do unspeakable things. Yeah, but she, she's still Stop. hot. Yeah, she's still like, a little more realistic. It's a little more kid-friendly, honestly, on the right. Yeah. It's nothing to move to China about, for sure. <laughs> She's so fucking beautiful. I mean, I, oh, the quartering did have a fucking tweet about it. I knew no the way. fuck about it. Of course he does. Of Reject modernity, embrace tradition. Bro, it's not that serious. Jesus tradition? Christ, you guys. Well, that, that's a meme. He might be actually be uh. goofing. Although, it's him, so probably not. But. <laughs> I, what is he do? I mean, I'm deep undercover. Why would anyone be upset <laughs> over this? Come on. Well, I, you know, back when we were kids, cartoons were hot. You could definitely beat off to cartoons. It's they so, still like, are. Oh. There's plenty of hot characters all over everywhere. Look at her curves. Dude. Relax. It's crazy people. on the left. <laughs> It's kind of if, if you if need I a be, hot character, just go look at everywhere. <laughs> if I can be honest, the surprising thing for me looking at this is how curvy the one on the left was back in the day. Yeah. You know what I'm she saying? Thick. I'd fucking I just peed in my basement. <laughs> if that rabbit came into our life, you know, I'm sorry, but I love that these are guys complaining. Of course it is. Nope. <laughs> oh, another quoting to you. What do you think the crossover is between cancel culture foot soldiers? Oh, is he calling? Wait, he's respond. He's calling us. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not. I, I can't make this out. Wait, but foot soldiers is used so weirdly. <laughs> what do you think the crossover between cancel culture foot soldiers and sufferers of what is TDS? Uh, that is Trump derangement syndrome. Oh. Is what uh, oh. people like him use that. I'm deep important. undercover. <laughs> it's like sixty, seventy percent. Just very insightful. Whatever, fuck that guy. I am, of course, a white supremacist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, quartering, no hard feelings, buddy. I just am wondering, you know, if you use, if it's 3 a.m. and you're in, it's the middle of the night and you have to go to the bathroom, where are you going to go? I just peed in my basement. In the basement. You would go all the way to the basement to do that? <laughs> Not to Maybe disturb. I'm going to pee in my trash can down here. I don't <laughs> know. Right. Trash can makes money. You don't want to disturb your wife, probably. That's the biggest concern. Right. I'm not taking a pause to no. pee. No, of course not. Would never dream of asking such a thing of you. My wife went out for pizza without me. I know. <laughs> that was a big issue in your marriage. It's not cool, dude. Not cool. <laughs> I would never do that to you. Yeah, I know. That's why we have such a happy marriage. <laughs> I knew something was up. Oh, we have another quartering tweet? All right, let's just turn. Oh, let's just go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can go through his whole Twitter. How are you going to do my girl like this? Brie like this? Everyone in these should be recalled. Oh, he's just mad that it's like not a... Yeah. Oh, okay. What I honestly not don't good. think you could find another don't channel that praises Brie Larson as much as me. Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, that's it. 
right? That's all Everybody's false. asking for an update on keto. There's oh. no keto. There's no diet. Dude, I got super frustrated because I was in it for two weeks, and I, was, and I gained two pounds, and I was like, fuck this. So I'm having a cheat week. I'm celebrating. So I my... told Ethan, why don't you follow me um, and eat what I'm eating? Wouldn't that be fun if no. we... <laughs> not fun. I tried it for half a day. You didn't even give me a shot. You just ate my breakfast and then you were done. Hila, with peace and Which love. Which you said was good. With peace and love. For, well, then you pulled out a chocolate and I couldn't have any of that. So what is it? Am I on your diet or no? Either goes, well, I'm okay, to okay you're, doing my, you're doing my diet. I'm going to eat this chocolate, but you can't have it. I was like, whose diet are we doing? My diet. That okay, so why I don't I get dictate, the chocolate? That I dictate for yeah, you. Yeah, bullshit. You're, eating fatty. <laughs> you're a bullshit guru. Okay, I'm over it, and I'm not going to talk about it anymore. You do whatever you want. Yeah, I know. It's exhausting for you to deal with it. I know. But, but uh, you just trust the process. I trust everything. I'm just out. I'm taking a week and, and it's, off. It's not in a bad or a good way. I'm fucking, just not going to talk no, about it. No, I understand. Just do whatever you want. Yeah, thank you. Peace and <laughs> love. I had some fucking bagel, pizza bagels this weekend. I was like, fuck this. Oh, pizza or like, yeah, I was like, fuck this. Oh, they yeah. bought, or we bought like pizza bagels for Theodore. I'm like, fuck this. I'm eating his bad, dumb. It's I'm not eating a his, bagel. It's no, it's a little pizza bagel. Bites. You stole your son's pizza bagels? Yeah, I stole all Theodore's pizza bagels. I literally He's stealing my ice cream stuff. too. I'm Elizy and I'm off. <laughs> I love pizza and I love people. Papa, tell you that what if pizza is pizza's healthy, right? Pizza's totally healthy, I believe. Right. Tell, tell you, Papa. Pizza's actually very nutritious. Yeah. yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. Pizza tonight? I've had over forty pizzas in the last. Come on, look days. at Papa. He's in great shape. Papa is in great Papa shape. Papa flex. Come on now. But bye. it's not a pizza bagel. It is. It's a little bagel. If really? you look on the back, yeah, it's a little huh. bagel. I didn't it's called know pizza that. Pizza bagels. Good. Yeah, it is good. This is all a farce. They're pretty good. I'm not going to hate on the pizza bagel. <laughs> I was like, this is pretty fucking good. You have pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening. Oh, bro. Pizza did you know that was their ad? They would go, pizza in the morning, pizza, pizza in the, in the evening. evening, pizza at supper for kids? Time. Supper yes. time. What? They're like, pizza for every meal now. When pizza's on a bagel, oh you God. can have pizza anytime. Right, because it's on that, a bagel. It's a bagel. It's breakfast. Pizza on the bagel. Unbelievable. I love that. <laughs> that was Papa. Laughing. Papa was behind that shit. <laughs> that turns me on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm listen. I, I came out here. I want to talk, address the Scotty thing. We talked a lot more than I wanted, than I planned to, so I don't have that much more planned. Let's all go listen to Elton John. Separately. Here's another song that I was thinking about in relation to that. Someone saved my life tonight. Sugar, Sugar bear. bear. You had your hooks in me. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you nearly had me roped and tied. Honestly, the which song is better? For the situation? Um, that or... Well, I feel like Sugar Bear was more about like domestic abuse. Where oh no, I was sorry was say, more about a breakup. No, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Or did you bring your passports? Did passports. you get your shot? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what's really cool? My mom got vaccinated. She's like both shots. Both my parents are yeah. both shots vaccinated. So like we can I'm, see my parents now. I'm starting to feel a little less pressure because. I would be so paranoid for everyone around us. Like, I don't want to cause something for someone else. So, mm -hmm. it's your parents and our nanny and, like, all this stuff. So, so many people around us are finally getting vaccinated. Yeah, it's great. Just feeling a little less COVID pressure. <laughs> oh, was it Kenneth, though? I think Kenneth Thick is responsible for the lowering cases. <laughs> Kenneth Copeland, of course. So that's awesome. So I can, can see my parents on the weekend like we used to, which is really nice. I mean, we didn't see them for a long ass time. I can't wait to get it myself. Stick me with that shit, bro. Like a, like a shot of Botox to Wendy Williams' face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it, guys. So have a great... Listen, make me one promise, foot soldiers. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Have a great fucking weekend. Right. Is that it? That's the one problem? And, um, well, yeah. I mean, that's pretty open-ended. Like, you can build, kind of build your own uh, truth in the, within that. You know what I mean? Build your own truth. <laughs> build your own truth. 
So that that's it. Yeah. Semen but is, I pro- is another kind of milk. <laughs> that's okay. That's your truth, dude. Speak. <laughs> right. That's his truth. Speak his truth. Um. Thank you guys for tuning in and and hearing it out. You know, I, this is an important conversation. Actually, I think I really do think it's an important conversation. So I'm glad we're able to come out here and express ourselves and and for y'all to be here and you know listen and listen and participate. So God bless. Um, God bless. Um, I thought was something else I wanted to say, but it's evading me. So I guess it wasn't that important. Other than just foot soldiers. Assemble. Thank you for answering the call of war. The war horns were blown. And uh, everybody rolled up. So thank you guys. <laughs> what else? I, th- I thought there was something else. I, 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 I have, uh, my mouth is empty. What else? What else? Blah, 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 blah. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back oh, on, with Frenemies on Monday. We're, we'll be filming Jewish trivia. Do we have any leads on the Hasid outfits? <laughs> The Orthodox outfits? No, you're living. Ian? Working on it. You're working on it? Okay. Working on it. I know. Ian's always on shit. Ian's, you're the man, bro. Love your ass. <laughs> Fuck you. Ian, please stand up. Is he a man or a bro? He's both. Okay. Ian, is um, semen milk yes or no? <laughs> um, I don't know. Do we have any sort of soundbite that might inform me on... One way or the other? Is it? No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, semen is, is another kind of milk. I was just letting the awkwardness linger. <laughs> Great. All right. I, I, okay. Well, anyway, that's that. Thank you guys once again. We'll see you on Tuesday with a very new episode of the H3 Podcast. We appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Did you say that I'm going to start not being in the middle of the week episode? I said that in the middle of the week episode. But I'll say today, Ela, with peace and love, has too much to do. <laughs> peace and love. Ela will not be on the Thursday, Wednesday episodes anymore with peace and love. Peace and love. love. Peace she has and too love. much to do. So I'm any gonna, request for her to be on the show on Wednesday will be tossed. I'm going to be going into the Teddy Fresh world fully, which is uh, going to be a big change for me because... It's been really hard to juggle both. Like, when we do the podcast, it kind of takes most of my day. Mm -hmm. And then I would try to get to Teddy Fresh after, but it's like, it's really hard. Um, So, I'm just going to be only on Fridays, which is... I think it's cool anyway, because Ethan will have an episode alone. I'll have my own day to get canceled. (laughs) (laughs) That was the joke everyone was saying, which is true. Whenever I'm without you, it goes off the rails, you know. Well, within the first 10 minutes of the episode, we were talking about genital mutilation. So nice. Did, uh... Right. I was thinking, what did you guys think about a title for the My Alone episode? Now it's like Off off the Rails Without Ela with Ethan Klein. It's a, maybe a little long, but I kind of like, like it. like Off the Rails Without Ela Klein with Ethan Klein podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. I like Off the Rails, no, though. Just, yeah. Off the Rails with off Ethan Klein. Off the Rails! <laughs> Maybe it's a little. Because if I ever get canceled for something I say, there I'll be like, "Hey, it's off the rails." <laughs> <laughs> it's the ironclad defense right there. All right. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace See you guys next love. week. Have a great weekend. You promise. You promise you what? You promise you have a good weekend. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ta ta. Bring your passport next time. <laughs> You're wet your nature to the three, three, three. You're wet your nature to the three, 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 three. You're wet your nature to the three, 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 three. You're wet your nature to the three, three, three. I'm out.